can start whenever uh, you want to click doing. with Tyler Fernangle. Ryan, welcome. Fletcher. Welcome. Long, Long time Fernangle. coming. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is actually, you're, uh, you might be one of the most recurring guests, though. This is your third. You were my third? second guest ever, I think. One of the, at least second or third. This is my oh. third time, though. You came in the middle time with me and Fudger. No. When we were doing mm-hmm. it together. Yeah, we did it. He's yeah, crazy. Did. He's yeah, Dennis is crazy. Nope. I remember we did two one. versus one. I there's no way. I only did the one at your house. Yeah. Right when it first started. You, so you don't tripping. think he ever did one with you? Nope. I swear to guaranteed. Where to goodness. Guaranteed. You hit your head. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pretty good memory though. Especially <laughs> Well, you're fabricating one right, right now. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna Yeah, he did the he didn't he did the one with you, and I remember that was at the peak of like kind of the I'm neck on my phone, but I'm just doing a little like bit that. of a yeah. Yeah, I would tech love, work right now. So if let's you see. pull that up, I was going to blow my mind. I same because I you guys sound be, way more confident than me. That'll freak me out. I'll be like, <laughs> I have no recollection of that at all. So my, little, my only little highlights I have is a, I try and log the podcast. Uh, second is so second one unofficially yeah. right now. Okay, so you were you were in the very beginning. He was in the very beginning. It went Chad, Connor, Kyle, Carlson, Jonas, Christian, Garrett, Tyler. Yeah. So you're right in the very yeah, beginning. Yeah. All right, let's go a while away. So it didn't happen. That's brand new. Is this uh Yeah, you're good. You enough. you can see the di- you can hear the difference like okay, that, yeah. you know. So if you want to talk closer, you can. Cool. Um it's up to you when they I'm sorry, I'm gonna make a bunch of noise here and everybody. All right. right. It's now. looking like uh that was a dream of mine or something. You were fabricating. We're getting that to a point sure. that I uh, I would know this because <laughs> I, have you sat in on a news podcast or anything? No. No. Yeah. So when we did that podcast in my living room, because mm-hmm. I remember we talked about like a Tyler 2.0, you're coming yeah. back. So that was way back then, that six was, years ago. Dude, okay, so that's why I thought that it had to be with me and you. Yeah, yeah. No, I so it's been because, a minute uh, since the podcast, yeah. since you've been full on Red Bull, Vans, Haro. Well, I mean, I was on Red Bull then. Yeah, at that okay. time, yeah. Yeah, it was like. Because they were helping out in. with the net. With yeah, the that was injury. like, yeah. I got on Red Bull when I was 17. All right, so that that's a really like, good one for everyone to go like back and re-listen to. I think my picture, I have like a glass. I think I was 21 then. Wow. It's like right before my neck surgery or right after. Yeah. But yeah, All right. no, I would know because I don't like doing podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is your third podcast. Yeah. You did one with Malcolm and Minden. Uh yeah, I did that one. No, fourth, because I did that no jumper one. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah there's a little one. come but up. That TV was like one. eighteen. I was eighteen when Yeah. I yeah. With Mikey Tyra. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, welcome officially then. Adult Tyler on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Um sponsors. Dales, we got Dales, of course. This is a, uh, as you can tell by Dennis's jumbo. It's the fucking time changed. <laughs> got an hour less of sleep. I'm the doing earliest the, unclicked yeah. podcast ever, technically. Technically, this and, is this uh, a new record. And uh, so, shout out to Dales. Shout out to Source BMX for all they do, and shout out to Woodward. Um, they are the sponsors. We got a bunch of sponsors. Sick. So got some so, cool ones. Yeah. So, um, thank you for coming, Tyler. I mean, thank you. Uh, I don't know where do we start. Do we start at the beginning a little bit, halfway? I'll, I'll have a beer for the world record morning on Click podcast. Oh, right. Just because Dale's is so good. Red, white, or blue? Red, red. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reds, reds are, are the heavy ones. The red ones are yeah. like nine percent IPAs really, in a can. Yeah, yeah that's what I would think. Yeah. Those All are, right. Those hurt. Those Coffee, are, Rockstar, Dales. Oh, this is a morning, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. No drinking have, for you? No drinking. Good no man. drinker. Yeah, you sober, sober sober guy. Yeah. In, in, in general, I think uh, when I was listening to the Malcolm podcast, he said you had a, a little lapse. He lost some friends and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah. But, um, yeah, it seems like I've been doing this for the last, like, couple years. I'll be, like, six months sober. Yeah. Fuck up and... You know, so I feel like then. that's like part of the process. So. Yeah. Just like, and, and does anybody ever like go just like full cold <clears throat> turkey? Never, never have a sip ever again. Yeah. I, I don't. Mean, I mean, I don't. Some people. Everyone's do. different. Yeah. That's the rare case. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll always get to that point and be like, oh, I feel like I can have one, and then it turns into. I mean, you've partied with me. It's more like the next day I wake up hungover, can't handle it like a normal person, and mm-hmm. just like want to drink again. Yeah. And then yeah. before you know it, Friday night I, goes I, to next Friday with Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much back in yeah. back in that era, at least. Yeah, and then before you know it, I've drank pretty much every day for a month straight. So yeah, it's no good. Yeah, and that's but, what takes you out of that. Like, or, or is there a point where you're like, you're a month in, and you're you're no, like, I just no more. Look in, in the mirror, and I'm like, I'm a loser because <laughs> I don't ride. Yeah, like I won't ride, and just yeah, I just get so in my head, and like I don't know, like because I mean, obviously, I've been super open about my anxiety issues, and like that's something I deal with every day. And I would, 
I'm not drinking for fun. Yeah. You know, I'm drinking as like a self-medicating, um, you know, in my head, that's what I'm doing. And in the time, yeah, it calms me down. Like I would love to have a beer right now. Mm -hmm. I'd be lying if I said, you know, that wasn't true, but I just know. Yeah. And then I wake up and it's like 10 times worse. Yeah. My anxiety's through the roof. And then my first thought is to like, let's drink. Again. Yeah. Medicate it. Was It'll go away. Yeah. A couple beers. I Bad cycle. Partying yeah. is like the wrong word for most people. I feel like. Yeah. Because partying is like after someone's birthday or celebration for something. But people are like, we're yeah. partying. But really, it's like a bunch of guys who are just kind of like distracting themselves from yeah. what's going on in their life. Partying yeah. is a terrible word. For I'm not partying. Drinking. Like it's no, there's no celebration. It's just, I mean, I was drinking by myself. Yeah. Drinking in the mornings a lot of times. And yeah. Yeah. It's just no good for me. Mm -hmm. I would love to maybe, you know, can't like never say never, but maybe in 20 years when my life is calm and I'm financially stable and yeah. like, you know, everything's just flowing. Maybe I can, cause right now I'm self-medicating. Have a social beer. Yeah. I'm self-medicating because of internal issues that I'm dealing with. Maybe if I resolve the, um, the root cause, but at the same time, it's like, what's the benefit of drinking yeah, you know it doesn't yeah. do anything for me i've had great times for sure I, like we've had some of the best times throwing food at a remember the the, the japanese the, the distro Jap shout out to ria and motocross <laughs> yeah, international ria they sent us to japan and uh, uh, when tyler we were partying hard that's when i could handle it <laughs> yeah I no was that, still, that I was, was young, that like, was a time where you would wake up and not start drinking that you was were on before that. i don't know what happened if it was the head injuries or just that's life. true because in the very beginning you didn't drink at all when you like when yeah. i bought you that one-way ticket out mm -hmm. beginning of market oh, you were I didn't like drink no at drinking all. and i was yeah. like oh that's, that's cool smoked. yeah but yeah but then you started drinking but you were like real dialed with it you just like drink normal. and wake up and ride instead of i love my wine and just super chill i'd have a glass of wine but yeah Something happened, something changed yeah. over time. And it I think it was just a combination of obviously I've hit my head a lot. That doesn't help anything, kind of rattles everything in there. And then drinking to kind of cope with those symptoms. And then life stuff, just yeah. you know, family injuries. Then I started drinking throughout my injuries. That's probably what happened. Yeah. Really. Like it was the neck after the spine surgery. I drank the whole time I was recovering. You weren't from. riding and you were making money not riding. I so. wasn't riding. I was getting paid really well. And it I felt happened like, to live next to these super amazing neighbors. Yeah. Shout out to Jacob Bell. Just like, super rich dude. He's like an ex NFL <laughs> player. Mm -hmm. And then his whole group of his circle is like rich, like B list celebrities. Basically. They're like the popular kids of San Diego. If it was a giant high school. Yeah. Like you go downtown and they, Oh, Jacob, Hey, come on in to yeah. whatever. Like you and all your friends. Yeah. Come on yeah. in. Yeah. Spend your and money. I was like, and we were definitely at, part when of When I crew. first started hanging with them, I wasn't even 21. So I'd be like at their house partying with them. I was the little guy. And then I brought my little guy yeah. friend. The little, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I was like 20. I'd be there partying. They'd go out or I'd drive people to the bar, go back, be at the house by myself, wait for them to come back and then be there partying till like five in the morning. Crazy. Bad. That was a bad and thing. then I'm like a kid and I was making pretty good money and I'm like trying to keep up with these guys who are actually making millions. And yeah. I'm like, I would go, me and Tyler would go out with them and then I'd go <clears> ride all weekend and be like, where you at Tyler on Monday and you were still there. Yeah. at the neighbor's house and I, I didn't even know in the beginning <laughs> just, and they just like Tyler just stays all fucking weekend with us and he, and he or like and, comes and back that and, guy, forth and, and that like, guy oh. can sustain that does he still is he, he retired still? at like 33 with endless money uh -huh. like you can look him up Jacob Bell played for the Rams did really good and he retired for a couple teams he retired because he uh didn't want the CTE stuff and uh -huh. he had enough money to do good for the rest of his life but I he feel got, like he's <laughs> giving himself CTE from the partying yeah but no he was he had a great head on his shoulders sure. though he's i think there's a, there's always that like that full throttle personality you know mm -hmm. where it's like whatever you're gonna do if he if you, like even the jacob guy it's like he's gonna be a you know top one you know one percent of one percent mm -hmm. athlete and yeah. make millions of dollars and set himself up for for life mm -hmm. within yeah. a few years and then it's like now i'm gonna party at the top one percent too and it's it's hard when you yeah. when you meet these people and you're trying to like yeah like Tyler said fun. he's trying to yeah. hang with them but like this guy owns a restaurant in downtown he has properties yeah. all over the Midwest yeah, his life like, set up yeah. mine was like I should have been going harder than ever with riding you know yeah. for Red or Bull, taking or taking those vans and taking like, those tips from him in that sense not the yeah I tried tips, but yeah. those conversations only happened under the influence and then, yeah was <laughs> <not, laughs> yeah. yeah. for sure we I'm gonna do all this I shit probably started like five companies over the time and then morning comes around and you know. 
That was always my joke with that house. Green like everyone's going to do all this shit tomorrow yeah. morning. Oh, yeah. We're going to yeah. start a business. We I'm going to, let's, let's invest. Yeah. And the next morning's like, yeah. <laughs> what did invest we talk about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My best. problem is that I just like, I feel like I drank the same way I ride. Yeah. It's just yeah. like all or nothing. Yeah. I mean, that makes, that makes going sense. hard. Like I'm, I'm doing it, which is bad. Yeah. What, uh, when was the first time you ever had alcohol? Young? Probably like, I think I tried it when I was like 14. Mm. And my friend, uh, Eric Trombley, actually like my best friend growing up, he had drank before and I was like, I want to try drinking. And he's like, here you go. And basically gave me like a bottle of Smirnoff and I like just puked all over <laughs> it. And then I never touched alcohol again until yep. I was like, I think the next time was like simple session. Mm. Okay. It's like so pretty late. Yeah. Legal there. Yeah. Kind of late, so but like, he was still really young. You're probably. Yeah. 17, I was like 17. Uh, yeah. 18. I, yeah. God, I forget that. Yeah. And then. So pretty normal. And then even then itself. I didn't really yeah. drink. It would be like, you know, maybe when I went on those trips or I'd like sneak a beer here and there, but it didn't interest me. Yeah. And no. then. You never had a fake ID. You're never like uh, one of the young kids that like needed to party. You're yeah. always like, I'll just stay back. I and think wait for you guys. Oh, actually. No, this is crazy. I do remember the first time I like drank other than that time with eric um i was in costa rica for fees and i went out with brett benisewicz huh. and we got wasted together it was awesome i remember thinking it was one of the best nights of my life like, <laughs> this is like he we became really close and then he was just like also one of my heroes but we're like similar in age yeah, yeah. You guys i used uh age, it was like me him and pat casey rest yeah. in peace uh and i used drew was anson's id to go out because drew doesn't drink <laughs> that's a crew like yeah. you look yeah, at that crew right now yeah, that's pretty Brett, insane i was really young I, I can remember that so vividly it was such a fun time um and so you're on red bull <clears throat> at that point like a, at not, that point yeah, no, no that no. was like red i was line. on red line red line <laughs> okay. that, was, that even, was your first sponsor then yeah albies and then i went there with red line it was like me dosh flip um scott Wirch, and then Right? That's his name? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, who else? What was that dude's name? I don't know. I think Glenn Salyers was there. Also, oh, yeah. rest, rest in, in peace, peace to Glenn. Yeah. That was yeah. one of my Motorcycles. best friends. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. Two. Just random off topic with like that crew that you're hanging out with. You know, yeah. like Glenn, RIP. Yeah. Pat, RIP. Mm -hmm. Drew, yeah. crazy accident. Brett, crazy accident. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, only one that of them. Is only, that's all, what I'm, that's why all like, the whoa. names I just listed. Like, Yeah. I mean, it's so, and it's not even, and it's just that, per, I mean, it's that, it's that, athlete personality just the like they're just live. yeah they're just i mean hard. it's two motorcycles and, and a car accident like and it's brett it's was so like, crazy and and brett was bmx top of the world like freak accident, yeah, freak accident. obviously yeah. like literally the most i still think he was the greatest i i think i've been talking about that more and more untouchable yeah like the fact he the way he would ride those parks like he'd never pedal go back and watch his last due tour run ocean city maryland uh -huh. right the weekend before he got hurt and it's like it would could win the Olympics mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. so good. I think I always best style. Too. I always say that like so good. BM, I feel like BMX would be. He was like our. He could he have been like the Mira. Sheckler. Yeah, because yeah, like it mm -hmm. was like he was such Justin a, Bieber, a good Lauren looking style, like American kid. kid that was just this yeah. phenom, and he had a great personality. And, like, and let me tell you, girls loved him. And he oh, loved, yeah, when he we was were riding the contest, yeah. and he was this little like fifteen year old kid, and that all the little girls. Like yeah. he was a celebrity yeah. like and he like was so Utah young would still be around because that's what because I, I'm, of like i'm thinking Brett. like yeah like he, i said that before he got hurt i was like he was so that's an next day that, kind yeah. of guy he might have been able to like the sport might be in a different place because of how influential yeah. he yeah. was yeah, and like the just the brands that wanted to work with him and the opportunities that he was like presenting to bmx yeah, it was Fucking, a, it was crazy. I mean, yeah, I, legend. You can, you shout can out assume, to you, Brett. But yeah, yeah shout out to Brett. Still just killing it. This. Like, still, still doing his thing. Yeah, he's mm. a man. So, um, okay, so that was a crazy crew, and then and then so Redline, you said, and yeah, then, Flip from Albies put me on Redline, and mm -hmm. then uh, what was next? Um, Osiris. Osiris, crazy. Osiris and Kyle, Kyle Carlson. Yeah. That's what that's Kyle what helped me a lot. Yeah. That's what put like you a, in my eyes was Kyle uh -huh. working with you. And I, I went remember. to that um, Mike Spinner contest, mm. and uh, I just I was hanging with Devin Smiley, and Kyle came up and just literally was like, "You want to ride for Osiris?" And I was like, "Yes, <laughs> Hell yeah!" Because Devin is also like, who's one of my very best friends in the whole world. Is but this, like, he was. Is this the one where you rode so off much. the you rode oh, yeah. off the roof? 
Yeah, I think. And the clip got messed up. Oh, no. No, this is the this one. Isn't, that, this is where it was like, okay, this kid is the future. This Vegas one that you filmed with Kyle. Uh -huh. And you filmed all this in like a week. And Kyle was Seven texting, days. Kyle was texting me the whole way through it. You're like, you got to <sighs> fucking see this kid. Oh, man. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this one. I watched this at my ramps and I was like, I'm going to hit him up and see if he'll come to San Diego. <laughs> I, I vividly remember the the cell phone clip from the person that filmed it from across the street. Oh, yeah. Didn't that right? go like news? It, went, it was like yeah. on the news or something? Yeah. yeah. Spot by Ryan Mills house. What's um, I'm totally blanking because he's like one of my favorite skaters. David. Uh, like, Trevette? No, Colombian. Gonzalez. David Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yeah. His uh, that crazy part where he tries to kinker rail up against the wall. Possessed to skate. Possessed to skate. Dropped. The first day I got there and I was literally studying a skate part and just getting like super hyped and watching that every night at Kyle's It's house. funny how that huh. works. I was the just motivation of video skating parts, and I was skating so much then too, but. Well, and sometimes skating, you can just relate to it a little bit. Yeah. You know, as far as like, sometimes there's not a bike rider. That's like exactly like what you're trying to yeah. be Dude, like. I died. That was it didn't even hit my peg. Fully missed it. That's so random. Some of the stuff I would think to do. I mean, that is a crazy thought. That's cool. Yeah. Like I just <laughs> that is awesome. start on the rail ride. Kind of random, but cool. You're a baby. I look like such a cute little kid. <laughs> what the fuck happened, man? <laughs> Pardon. God damn it, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it ages you quick. Uh, it was you, Schmitty. <laughs> oh, man. That name. Schmitty. I I hope, shout I out Schmitty if you're listening. This, yeah. Oh, this is cool. Nah, Schmitty was a good influence. That's a sick spot. That shit's uh, shut down. I was just there and we were talking about that clip. They put like a, there's a curb at the bottom so you can't mm -hmm. like go all the way through. This one. This is probably, oh, oh I almost I love how you could have lost like, my life. Yeah, you did. Because <laughs> you almost went off and you I could have just jumped off the, the clip, side. Though, like, yeah, and it made it better for sure. Yeah, yeah those I, are my favorite clips. The ones where you're like, never again. Not even, I don't give a shit. I'm definitely taking that. It was like, you almost died, then you got the whole clip. Yeah. You're like, uh -huh. I'm not doing that again. I think that was my first. Uh, no gap. upright. On that the was game. my first gap. Yeah, I could have died there too. <laughs> you never do a. I just did really know. check. Really check. I don't know anything yeah. Yeah. about that <laughs> stuff. I would just do it. Some, say that tip because that is, a, that is an important if tip. If there's a kink without an yeah. upright directly under the kink that is yeah, so much that could pressure. just snap and right they, they do and the they rail flex snap. so much they yeah. do snap so unless you know 100 percent that that thing is never gonna break just i fine. was out with kyle carlson he's not i don't think i mean he knows you know it's just me if you and him, check like, it and it's really strong no yeah. cracks yeah but those pressure, those though. break dude i was hanging a little rail and the thing broke and it just Ooh, bodied scary that makes sense so but yeah i think that's the one that 2013 on the 11 Ooh. years ago how old are you right there um 16 16 or 17 probably that's and uh people a lot of people are like josh batley if you put a video part out with that much impact when you're 16 years old people are going to recognize it like right now if someone a 16 year old dropped a part that was yeah anything like that you're going to get put on the map in bmx because it's just so rare to really do that at that age and was that is this before the detroit video yeah yeah this is before the detroit video oh yeah that oh was, crazy oh the michigan video sorry duh Oh, you're talking about mission video. Yeah. This is my favorite. I feel like this part almost got overlooked. In a way, maybe not. I think the core of BMX didn't. Yeah, overlook it. it's it just been wasn't a long like because it wasn't like a, main, a company. Like you know, it was just like a homie thing, and there was so many parts. Mikey, love this, you, Mikey. <laughs> this one you had time to work on. It yeah, and like you got the. Is this the one you get knocked out on? God damn! I didn't get knocked out. <laughs> I right. was fine. Yeah. I got up. I didn't want to look. I was like that neck rag doll. Uh huh. I still got neck issues. <laughs> oh, these are the times. I look back on this and like just fully, I'm like, this was the best times of my life. My best friend still like was living in Michigan, but I was traveling a bunch. I was on Osiris and staying out with you, I think, already. Yeah, this was like, I think that this and your market <laughs> part came out around the same time, maybe. Um, yeah little maybe like a year after this a year after maybe i don't know I'm so i think it was similar time. time frame well i had a red bull hat on for part of the market yeah i mean i had a red bull helmet for the bangers yeah so. yeah 
That's so cool. God. I just, did you just see I just posted that, that yeah. again? I was like super hyped on seeing that. As so Michigan let's crew, explain, explain, going. explain that, that setup. Like that's obviously in the center of. Yeah. It's like a landmark. Like everyone, it's called Heart Plaza. Uh-huh. They do like tons of music events there and um, like right to the right, there's the Detroit river that separates uh, Windsor and Detroit. Okay. But um, <clears throat> they also do like snowboard events there down to the left. It's like a crazy plaza that goes like underground. The like, Red Bull had an event, yeah, skate event, there. skate yeah. events, snowboard events in yeah. the winter. It's super cool. But I don't even know. <laughs> we were just there. I was, it was for dig obviously. Mm-hmm. And was with uh, Andrew white. And I think it was just like a joke, kind of like how everything starts. I'm like, I wonder if I could climb up that. And I think the only reason I could climb up it is because it was middle of summer and it was so humid that my shoes were like sticking. (laughs) I climbed up it and then we got up there and um, I was like, I think I can, I think I could roll in on this, but it's got an uphill landing. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's fucking gnarly. I feel like that would be the. It It is. It's so gnarly. Um, You had the kind of the. Yeah, I I'd never stuff. seen this till the other day. That's why I posted it. I'd never seen Dig made this little oh, with those clips. Oh, really? So, so I screen recorded actually? it off YouTube. Yeah, it, it's in here. Yeah, right. And right. then I I pieced together my Michigan video angles. Oh, okay. It, to make it a full thing. But yeah, this was the day. This is the day before. You can see I'm wearing a different shirt, and then I'm like, how can I get my bike up there? Need a rope, so then huh? we went to Home Depot, <laughs> got a rope. They didn't put that in there, but yeah, I climbed up there. I think like I seen a clip of and you then climbing up like, with a rope. Or maybe it's yeah, like but you just day. don't see me pulling it up. Mm-hmm. But yeah. The red line and a market sticker. That was like mm-hmm. the first market sticker too. They were so bad. Me and those damn shirts. I was obsessed with those things. Yeah. The good time. Thrift store. Uh, so had it been shirts. like talked about within the scene Never. at all? No, no. nobody. Never. Nobody was like, we would, is, people would like, idea. like ride into it and like kind of try and air it out. But it's like, it's angled yeah. like this. Yeah. It's like a downhill into an uphill both ways. You still kind of wearing those shirts right now. You're like yeah, those you're fucking shirts. Of, I look no, over here like wearing a, the same on, thing. This is way nicer. No patterns. <laughs> okay. It's a nice um, shirt. And no thoughts. <laughs> no thoughts to put a Absolutely board. Absolutely not. I mean, maybe as oh oh I <laughs> to put I a just board mean as like um, people thinking about doing it, but like maybe like a complete joke like that. I'll never. No one had ever even been on top of it. Yeah. As far as I know. Yeah. But um, the photo is so sick. God, that's one of those things like. Even if I found another setup like that, I'd never try that. Yeah, I was one, so, the one you rolled into in uh, we were in somewhere Mexico. in Mexico. Was yeah, pretty not harsh too. That was way just the uphill landing. That was way taller. But the like, one in Mexico, I get you were like just coming off an injury, and you're like, I'm yeah. just gonna take it easy. I got to hurt my neck. In. Yeah, and, you and then we had to like <laughs> find medicine in Mexico. But yeah, it was fucking trick. You rolled into that thing. Yeah, I guess that's why it seems harsher because you were just like not. Yeah, which one? Riding. Which one was that? It was on a Haro, Mexico. I think it went all over Mexico. You can, oh, okay. yeah, it's like a three quarters of the size. Of that. It was steeper when you though. See that in person? That's like, that's I mean, a dude, it looks like twenty five feet. I at least, I think bigger than that. Yeah. I don't know. Definitely, yeah, dude. Um, yeah, that is so glad it just worked out somehow. And it's funny too because you're you could have just easily taken one bag of quick crete and it would have been like oh yeah then <laughs> well, it would what, be like anyone can do it yeah yeah that's kind of the point yeah they gotta like, take that impact and not blow your feet off. The, pulling off right there like how so much early off. like yeah. god Crazy. i'd love to see it in like a slow-mo yeah side angle there's two angles in the michigan video but they like cut it in between mm. i kind of wish they didn't do that but um yeah, that was uh, that's definitely one of my highlights of like all the things I've ever filmed. It's and cool. I got a cover from it. That was my first cover, which and I think it's you see that first angle how it cut like that. Yeah, I hate back. that. I want to see it so bad. That other angle is cool though because it really shows the, that it's completely oh, uphill. Yeah. Like I want to see that whole. Yeah, one. this one but, just really shows not ooh, even close to ooh. a nice landing. <laughs> yeah. It's like this. <laughs> yeah, that was. 17 year old jelly bones that could just handle that <laughs> stuff but that's like what i did i would like i just loved scaring my friends like i i it just made me feel good to be like ah you know and it well, was so i would do so there's so much stuff that i used to do that was never on film yeah that yeah. i would 100 percent film now i'd find a roof and just jump off <laughs> of it for fun that was a clip i was really hyped on. that's ah. huge and there's the biggest bar dice ever i think still in this you think that bar ice you them? did? I think that's got to be. That's pretty sick. That was my first bar ice on street. 
it's the only bar ice I ever did on street. And it's probably and no one. I've said that before, and people don't believe me, but I swear on my life, I had only done bar well, ice. I understand in, that because in, you're a little dude. You didn't have that much man muscle. And no, you just kind of I needed gravity. a big one. You're, yeah, I needed a big rail to just. I think we were just talking about that the other day on the phone. Like you were like a gravity, you know, assist mm-hmm. rider, but now yeah, you're like a man. I, and you're, I, you're riding strong is completely. And it's, it's different now. I've also had my riding has had to adapt based on my injuries. And I'm having yeah. like so much fun with the, you know, all you see, I'm just manualing around, but it's like, but you've always done that shit. Yeah. Dude. Just like kind of that make, over crank, no switch bar. <laughs> gravity assist rider. Uh huh. For sure. That was a scary I'm still one. using gravity. <laughs> you are. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like uh, fighting it. <laughs> I'll do well when I fight gravity. <laughs> so I break my kneecap. Man, these are the best trips. What were the just all over Michigan? All Michigan. That, that yeah. is so sick. The just whole statewide. Just, and then Michigan has like, you know, it's almost like two states, the upper peninsula. Yeah. I don't know if I ever got any clips from up there, but because at this time, I I honestly didn't yeah, really get to spot. This video is like it's all Michigan. It looks I haven't seen shout this out in to a this long time. this crew. Uh-huh. This, this Alex Burnside, Corey Rogowski, yeah. Nick yeah. Bullen, um Tara. Yeah. Yeah, Mikey's who, got an insane part. In what? Uh, there's another dude, Connor like, Keating. Connor. Yeah. yeah, those are my all my best friends. But it's crazy how a video like like a local video, quote unquote, like this can can catapult a crew mm-hmm. of dudes, six dudes. Yeah, you guys could start a company into with this if you had someone sure. like with the business savvy just, mindset. You know, it goes life. Yeah, everyone starts getting jobs. And you just need that one busy business savvy guy. Who's I like, love this clip. Me too. Such yeah. a sick spot. We found some crazy spots yeah, for sure. spots are just laying around michigan uh-huh <laughs> dennis is like i need to take a trip to michigan dude i, I filmed I, this clip <laughs> huh i filmed this clip what do you mean what? watch look in the next single i feel sh- fish eyed that you don't remember <laughs> no <laughs> ah what? It, that's kind of a little that's not skinny me. version. no, skinny. no I, <laughs> when i saw that i was like that looks that's like burnside me. yeah i know <laughs> Dude, I was thinking that like when we talked the other day. But about, I was like, wow, you did go um, through film. I, <laughs> I mean, the VX doesn't lie. I thought that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At the but, time, that did look like <clears throat> When you were talucking about places to go film, I was thinking like at some point, maybe not like a first trip, but. Dude. I'd be down to get out to Michigan and. Are the boys out there still? Yeah. Like I would try and, out and plan it where, I mean, not so much, but I think if it was something legit, like we were going there to <laughs> film. <laughs> somehow if we were going to do something legit i could probably get Corey to like, i would want w- wagowski to like just bring me around to spots yeah. and stuff because i haven't lived there in 10 years i don't know wait wait wait. okay this is i think it's 19 stairs or Let's, something yeah like in the comments is that the biggest bar ice ever done yeah i mean i would have, i would think yeah. garrett if not that maybe garrett obviously uh he did but hollywood that's, high that's a big set for sure i iced it nope. like eight times in a row i can imagine and i was like yeah because the only one i ever did was uh all right something in this clip that i don't think anybody's ever noticed so go back to where i'm looking at it yeah right there where i'm paused at the look at look at my forks they're black and then when i do it i have chrome forks <laughs> so i'm right there I look down at my forks. They're cracked all the way around before I jumped down it. <laughs> I would have lost my life, dude. Look down. They were cracked all the way around. And then Corey gave me his forks. It was the craziest. You know, it's really crazy. It's like that crew you're talking about in Costa Rica. Like if you didn't see that crack, there wasn't like the universe helping you would have been a part of that. Crew, that if club. that was forks oh, broke yeah, right there. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. That's the, was the gnarliest, like crappy landing. Like, no, I didn't clean it up. Nothing. Like, if landing. your fork's broke and you went trusty face first into that landing. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. It wouldn't yeah. have been good. Yeah. For sure. Check your forks and check, check your check the yeah, uprights. That's, check all your when you when <laughs> I, go as hard as that the guy in this video part, check your bike yeah. every session. Um <laughs> I need please. to do that more actually. So <clears throat> like Redline, Albies, Osiris at this point, and then where does where does Red Bull come in the picture? Mm. Well, actually before before you answer that. There was a trail section in here. Mm-hmm. And then I remember, like, I thought of you at this point, and, like, from the Osiris edit, and it was like, all right, this is a street kid. Yeah. And then I saw a clip of you doing, like, a three down whip yeah. across, like, a 25-foot dirt jump. Trucked and I was it, like, trucked it, down with. trucked it down whip. Yeah. At the point, at that yeah, point, when it tricks. was like, that was... Uh, People you know, weren't really edge, even yeah, doing those tricks. tricks. So I did double truck down whip for one of my 
that's the best way. The Woodward video. Yeah. Just, I did all the, like my craziest tricks. Yeah. So where, where did you ride bikes? That did like, yeah, I can't find, I know that the dude, Dave Lang who made it, he well, could probably had that find really it. Really sick indoor skate park. And then you hung out at Woodward. I rode a skate park with ceilings that were like the size of this. You yeah. Know, like, but other than that, what, what park I, was that? Uh, it's called TRP, or TRP Transitions. Yeah. It's yeah. called like Lines or Jason something. Jason Suchin? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to see that. That's a, that's, a, he was a that's a deep huge, reference right there. Huge part of my life. For from sure. somebody that grew up on the West Coast for me to. Yeah, that is, that's crazy. <laughs> but for sure. Um, that's cool. Game of Bike with Drew. Those were yeah. so fun. Man, I miss all that. There was so many more like little weird little was things. This, was this? Nah, isn't this, it. Is, yeah. uh, this is just like a talking piece. No, that video I'm talking about is gone. Oh, really? Unfortunately, it was on made David Lang. Like, a yeah, he was from Chicago. No, he was a uh, he's a professional rollerblader. OK, but it's when I lived at the Woodward School. I did like a semester at the Woodward School. OK. And he was our digital media. Part of the schooling was we had to go through, like, learn how to film and edit. And he was the teacher for that but also a professional rollerblader so huh that, okay. vi- that video is so that random. sucks that that video yeah, is gone because weird, yeah that yeah. was crazy i think i could probably have him dig it up at some point but so should, yeah like, i would love to up. see you that it's such a good up. video i just remember being like blown away that it was you were a, a full like full spectrum bike rider mm-hmm. like, this guy he was i a, mean he was my inspiration since i was a little kid so i feel like i uh, you like had half of me inspiration though, and then you had like half of Devin for sure. You know, yeah, I just took that, that's pieces. What you always of, reminded me of is like yeah. I could tell you like my writing, but also you had a whole different side yeah. of you that I didn't mess with, with the, like the Devin side, uh-huh. which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, who bit you are now. More tech. Yeah, I, I just took uh, bits and pieces of everybody that I really top the top loved. three influences. And so Dennis, I'd say Dennis. I mean, it's so hard to yeah. pick three yeah. because top three is hard. Garrett, yeah. of everyone yeah. loves Garrett. Um, like when that freaking uh, your guys' high school show, what was that called? Five Months to Freedom. Five Months to Freedom. <laughs> that was just like the greatest thing that ever happened in my life. The worst thing ever. I remember like oh. me and Mikey Tyra sitting there watching that and we were both like, because you were what, 16, 17 during that? Probably 16. Yeah. So I was like 13. Oh no, I was probably a little older actually. Right, yeah, so I was like, probably, was to graduate. Yeah. School, so I was, so I was like 14 yeah. or something. I remember Mikey and I were sitting there and I'm like, I'm Dennis. And he's like, I'm Garrett. <laughs> cause like, cause Mikey is like, su- I mean, compared to like my writing super tech and Garrett's way more tech than me. Yeah, so yeah. I just remember being like, yeah, we're going to be Dennis and Garrett. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but like I grew up with people like Matt Sparks and mm-hmm. like, you know, who is absolutely savage. Yeah. Never so, got, um, didn't like, get intentionally yeah. like hitting the ceiling and, just jumping across park, crashing mm-hmm. on purpose, yeah. like like a Morgan Wade, yeah. absolutely. Kind of and smoking, I love smoking Mark- a bong filled with Red Bull, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like Matt Sparks. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and I, Morgan Wade is huge inspiration. Yeah. I just loved when I was young. Like I honestly feel like I had no fear. Yeah, I yeah. used to like do stuff that I knew I was going to crash on, mm-hmm. but I was so confident. I knew I would get out of it. Yeah, and because I loved it, I loved scaring my friends. It yeah. was a weird like high that i would get out of just tripping people out knowing that i'm gonna fall but um yeah i mean can't do that anymore when you might be able to maybe yeah maybe to a degree but you can make it you make the you know like when you're a kid it's like well i have 30 percent chance i pulled it i had that's good enough well now you know the consequences of what that did to you so now you're like i don't really maybe want to hurt myself i want to long long i can't i don't have the uh I, I just can't have that downtime anymore. It's yeah. just not all the, also it's not worth it because now riding is so it's my therapy yeah. almost more than anything. Like I would rather play it safe. Obviously I still push it and I'm like, I, and that's what I plan to do. But like, I really think through everything that I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. Like way I used to not think at all. It was just go more, turn your brain off and turn like it that. off. Go. I had a real switch that I, I knew how to turn off and I was in control of that. But now it's like, I know how um, grateful I am just to be able to manual around a park and, mm-hmm. because it's all for this. Like yeah. it helps my brain, helps me be able to come do things like this. You know, I got a ride to kind of get that. Just uh, it's my therapy. So, yeah, I'm super picky with those things. And Makes sense. I mean, it's a it's a natural thing to to get a, 
wise and be yeah, like, hey, it's smart. I'm going to measure the pros and cons here and For think sure. about tomorrow a little bit and what I have to do tomorrow. But at the same time, it's crazy because anytime something bad happens, it's not, you know, yeah. like when I just knocked my teeth out, that was, I did that Chilling. like eight times. Yeah, I have no. all, I, was just moving my phone around the bowl slowly, but surely I was waiting for my buddy Kane to go. I swear it. those ones though, that you get hurt that are like, you were, you're riding present in the moment. Mm -hmm. You were thinking about what you're doing and it was like a lightning strike. That's like the universe mm -hmm. giving that to you for a reason. I, that's, yeah, that's only that way I can a good reminder. That it's a good way to There's look at it. There's probably something great that happened through all that, right? Through the last the crash. Teeth, yeah. Yeah. I mean, is there anything that you can find that you're like, that was, I mean, it definitely like, well, it's a good reminder how quickly shit happens. Uh -huh. like I was literally just cruising, did that tooth bar like five, six times. So it's a good reminder to always think about like literally, I mean, like your crash, you were John. done filming, just messing around. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's when you kind of let your guard down. Yeah. <clears throat> it just happens. But um, yeah, good things came from that. I mean, it definitely got my name being, not that it was, I was already kind of like, getting back in the scene a yeah, lot but yeah. it, that crash blew up it has like 12 million views now yeah yeah but uh and then it, it helped malcolm and i were going to do that the mended podcast or time to breathe podcast already but then it was like all right now we have Now's something to talk about yeah because i was getting so much backlash from not wearing a helmet and and then still and not obviously wearing i a participated helmet. in that unknowingly <laughs> not, like shout out to ignorantly. malcolm in the time yeah. What's it called? The new time, time to, to breathe. breathe. Time to yeah. breathe podcast because yeah. yeah. yeah, Malcolm's a man that and that's cool. You guys did that. So check that one out too. Yeah, I think we're gonna do some more like an update one here cool. soon. But cool. um Malcolm's a great Yeah, it's dude. a brand new podcast yeah. too. Yeah, so shout out a... to Malcolm McCassey. He's been uh like in this kind of like my rebirth, I feel like that I'm going through right now. He's been we it's crazy. He used to send me Ethicas maybe freaking ten years ago. Mm -hmm. We've still never met to this day. Oh really? But I'm closer with him than probably anybody in my life right now. We talk every single day. We're like on the phone for hours at a time. He's kind of taken me on. As, it's kind of like an agent. Yeah. But no, he's not. But no percentages. He's or, just yeah, yeah. fully, you know, I it started with a DM. You. I was just like, hey, how are you? Haven't talked to you in like eight years or something. And he was like, man, I'd love to get on a call with you. And then we ended up talking for like two hours. Mm. And I just, it turned into, I gave him the whole rundown because he didn't really know anything about my life just what he sees through the riding he's always followed me yeah i gave him the whole rundown from the drinking to the injuries where i'm currently at i was still living in la working for this dude and um and telling him i like you know i want to do this again like i'm healthy i'm yeah i'm sober i just want to like see what i can you know i'm not doing it trying for money but i just want to like ride how i used yeah, to and take yeah. it seriously and and I'm aware that I have a really great skill set. Like this is the one thing I'm super good at. Mm -hmm. And I want to just, um, I just don't want to take it for granted. And he, and he like, and he was in. just like, thank you so much for being so open. Like he didn't ask, you yeah. know, and I just gave him basically my whole life story. And, um, hey, he's just like, thank you for being so open. And he's a very religious dude. And he pretty much was like, you know, God is telling me to work with you essentially. And he's like, and and I don't question that. And yeah. he's like, let's make it happen. Yeah. And so I'm so grateful for him. Like we have tons of awesome things in like the world. Like a works. guiding light. In a hundred percent. And yeah. it's not even just riding um, related. Just I can call him for anything. And He's a dude that started Ethica, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And, now and he, he sold it. He's out of that and he yeah. started Mended. It's okay. another underwear company. But it's not like just, he's doing like moto gear. And because he has the most insane connection. He's connected yeah. to everybody. Yeah. He's huge in the moto scene. He started with that. I don't know if you've ever seen Mini Warriors from mm. back. They were like the OG like moto movies that would showcase the upcoming. Like okay. All the current pros or even guys who are already retired. It was like videos of them we're when they were like 12. That. And he Crazy. would like go around and interview. He was so ahead of his time with just like the interviewing and the meeting people and kind of social media before social media. I mean, I think like when I hear the word like mended, you know, it, it, it kind of mm -hmm. fits like mm -hmm. you in a certain yeah. way too so it, it it lines up in that yeah in that it's sense. um it's just uh he's got so many great ideas it's yeah. gonna be awesome yeah. i don't want to like talk too much because it's still like in the works of yeah everything cool. happening but yeah like i'm i ride for mended that's like my one um and then dennis is working with them too 
Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I mean, it was well, just that. It's just whole like thing. a yeah. Oh, thing yeah. The, the the market. Thing. He basically the just made. Yeah. He wanted yeah. to spark market up again. He's mm-hmm. like, I love what you guys used to do there. Can I make a glove, like a collab glove? I was like, Yeah, just messing with it. And he sent me these gloves that are just like amazing. And I was like, what do I do with these? He's like, just sell them. You could have the profit. Mm-hmm. And, and I was <laughs> that, like, yeah. you're the man. He's yeah. the man. And yeah. so I was yeah. like, well, Tyler, you're like doing stuff with Mended. So well, uh, dude, I mean, we're going like, to get those on the site and then he's going to sell them. We're going to get Tyler the profit. I mean, he has to be, I mean, I don't know his deal, but Ethico is a, is a huge company. He sold yeah. it. So he has to be fairly, uh, you know, planted uh, financial wise. Yeah, so then he, he can, it's I mean, so cool know, when you get somebody. Yeah. yeah I mean, he's I'm got other he, companies too. He's got um, like a child supplement company. Oh, wow. And I mean, he's just tapped. He's into a everything. doer. Yeah. He's, he's one of the smartest people I've ever spoken to in my life. His he, brain works like I've, ne- he just gets going on the phone and it's, you can just, it's like, I can see his mind just working the yeah. gears turning. Yeah. And it's one thing when you have those, somebody with those idea guys, but it seems like he can activate on it, mm-hmm. which, is, which is, it's uh, anything I it. like, dude, anything I need, like the other, I've been trying to get blood work done for a while. Cause mm-hmm. I've been, um, something super random, but like I damaged my pituitary gland mm-hmm. from one of my head injuries. So I take testosterone. I've been on that for like three years. Yeah. It's like a really small amount to mimic normal. But yeah, I was like, ah, I need to get this sorted. And within it's like five seconds later, I'm in this group message with the doctor <laughs> and it's free, yeah. you know? And it's yeah. like something that would have cost me a thousand dollars out yeah. of pocket. He's like, Hey, this is my guy, Tyler. He's a good dude. Take care of him. Crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah. that, and then it's been like 10 other things. Yeah. Yeah. Getting me hooked up with like Dickie's pants and just like random connection. Just Rolodex, anything. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool. And I, I'm so, so grateful for him. That's awesome. So, um, sir, yeah. I feel like let's maybe let's circle back. I feel like the, let's talk about, did you get on Red Bull at Dreamline? No, it was, uh, it was being talked about then. I kind of knew it was going to happen. The New Mexico it, one? It was a, no, it was, was a random, uh, like a graffiti container. Yeah, it was in BMX the, event. It was oh, in, I shot uh, that one. That's Houston. when you got, that's when you got on Red Bull? Mm-hmm. Was in Houston, right? Yeah. It was a Huckers thing. Yeah, like it was Hucker like a Druzer. And it, it we were like, like jumping in, inside thing. of trash yeah. cans. Yeah. It's like a flopped Red Bull event. <laughs> it was kind of, it <laughs> like was kind of, really, it was kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> that might be. It was like, they didn't really promote that um, one because they're like, this is not. There was video a, from it. I don't know how yeah. you'd find it. Fuzzy Hall. I, it was like that era of Red Bull. Yeah, I know I can find the photos because the photos are on. Right oh, wait. There. 40. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if well, it is, has anything to do with me getting my helmet in this, but. That was so random. Oh my god, I can barely even remember. It's Urban Rhythm. Urban Rhythm. Morgan Wade was there. Shout out to Hucker. I love Hucker mm-hmm. so much. That was actually really fun. It was a sick event. Uh huh. Coco. It just seemed like it was meant to be like one of these like local events. It they, was they more just really... like a art, like culture yeah. thing. It was <laughs> sure. so crazy. Who's that guy? Who's that was the graffiti, graffiti artist. Graffiti. Okay, I was like, why? Did, yeah, oh, that, go. that's, that's Drew. Right? Yeah. Oh, that there you are. Crazy. There you are. Helmet. Yeah, so like I started the event with a normal helmet and like Drew came up to me and Dude, just like all right. grabbed my helmet. He's like, what do you think of this thing? And I'm like, oh, it's sick. You should try it. And I'm not thinking he's already got a Red Bull helmet on. <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's a good helmet. You should try it. And he just like booted it across the ramps. And I was like, why did you do that? <laughs> and then like he was like, boop red bull helmet right behind his back it was really cool that's cool did i didn't it? i didn't know because my mom signed the contract for me did they film it or anything though yeah it's that's i don't know there's no to it somewhere uh it's ridiculous <sighs> because that i don't remember that because i was there <laughs> and yeah. <I'm> shot. well <laughs> when, I mean, saying, I was, when he's telling the story i'm like I we're doing so that. much yeah. stuff and you're, you're probably um, like already editing this video yeah <laughs> i don't think i know i was shooting photos for um for red bull this was a yeah, this is it. I feel like, um, oh, man, I do remember that. Yeah. Doing bar rides through the city. Yeah, I totally forgot about this, too. Someone asked me if I'd been to Houston the other day, and I was like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. Too funny. It's funny how much, when you've done a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. and then it's like. Especially these quick little like two day things. This was yeah, like, like one or two days. Dude, in a hotel that dude looks like right that looks street. like Daniel Sandoval's dad. He, <laughs> I can see the Sandoval <laughs> resemblance for sure. Yeah, I remember it was raining and stuff. Mm-hmm. 
So you got on Red Bull, but that, that skips a lot of things because before that, you know, it was like the market era. Yeah. Then you got right on Haro, then uh -huh. Demolition. Damn. And then My timeline's way off. Yeah. Was I? No, I didn't get on Haro till I, I was After. already on Red Bull. So it was all around that same yeah, year. Yeah, because though. I'm yeah. still on a red line frame right there. Ooh, that was nice. I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> that was nice, too. Aaron Ross. There he is. That's a nice helmet, too. Ah, uh, flip whip out of the dumpster. Man, I should try that again. <laughs> Gotta find a dumpster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, too funny. Oh, this is so. so what, how does it, how does it work when your mom signs the? Contract? I don't know. <laughs> All of a sudden, Aiken. Aiken. Wow, Mikey. wow, I did not Dude, remember that he was there. Head. That was what a cool event. I got Dude. so many. I think Drew probably it was like his pick of who he wanted out or something. Probably Drew and Hucker. <laughs> oh yes. my god that could go so wrong if you get all weird up there nothing like drew's ramp uh -huh. riding yeah he's that's what i was saying at uh swamp fest like you know the pirate ship that everyone was trying tricks on it was like a big sub oh yeah very mediocre to drew like it was scary oh, yeah. i was riding yeah. it and like i was gonna try something and i'm like why am i doing this i, that, I didn't even rode yet that to drew is like a three he would have rail. made a absolute joke out of it and the whole place is going nuts for anyone foot michael barfoot jammed it and it was like the craziest yeah thing. people people were tweaking i yeah. literally kept saying like prime drew would have shut this yeah. shit down. Yeah. he whipped emmanuel to turn down like a 20 foot sub. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like come sure. on sure. guys a sub master uh -huh. um so yeah i guess it, it, you have nothing you know like i don't know i always think about money is like is it like do they present it to your mom and be like this yeah, is they, this is what we're gonna pay it's not negotiable they didn't pay me nothing that first contract okay like, All right. it was like 10 grand for the year it's like Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's how they get you. Yeah. Like, you're not 18 yet. Have the parents sign it. Rikandi kind of said the same thing, yeah. actually. Yeah. And I know that, uh, I mean, I don't know how it works for, obviously, like, Shecklers and stuff. Different yeah. story. But, like, I know Red Bull is, like, the lower paying sponsor out of the Monster and oh, okay. Rockstar. Yeah. But uh, it comes with so many perks. perks. Yeah. They, I got a $300,000 spine surgery that they, I didn't pay a dime for. That's, you know, like yeah. I got kind of like put you on and they they're like you're on. We're gonna put money into you. In, yeah, they than invest just give you in too you, much money. For sure, like, let's just blow you up. Yeah, they had like yeah that surgery. You know that was I would and it was like one of the newest types of surgeries available at the yeah. time, like top of the end. But um, yeah, but then my next contract it was like quadrupled. I think it went to like forty thousand. Okay, something. all right, gets a little more real because I yeah. signed with uh, Ryan Runke. As my okay, agent. agent. Yeah. yeah. All right. And he boot and he worked at Red Bull. So okay. he kind of knew the ins and outs. And then he wasn't with Red Bull anymore, but he was my agent. Mm -hmm. So he was able to get, get that you going. A proper proper amount. And then I ended up switching to Brad Lusky. Okay. Are you still with Brad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he got me and then it went up again. Okay. And yeah. Sorry to interrupt this podcast, but the Unclicked podcast is sponsored by Source BMX. We got to shout them out because they're rad. They're doing a bunch of stuff and they are killing it. Biggest mail order in the world. Guy got those warehouses in Kentucky. They got the one in the UK, of course. Pretty much get you something faster than anybody else in the world. Yep. And if your uh, bike shop don't have it, the Source does and it'll be at your house on your door and maybe the next day. True, true. And honestly, the, the best team in BMX right now, they just picked up uh killian roth this week yeah the ad was great because they really do like cover all the boards and then you know akeem's like no you don't yeah i mean obviously killian like is i mean pun intended kill killing it the the manual 180 during the rail jam at battle of hastings this year His part and then uh check, check watch yeah. that yeah and then uh i heard that uh he put down some crazy clips inside the park Congrats to Source for getting Killian, and congrats Killian for linking up with Source. Yep, good and combo. You're on the 
that is the most stacked team in BMX. Thank you for sponsoring the podcast, Source, and uh, we'll get back to it. Let's do it. And then, so Haro, so at the peak, it was like Haro, Red Bull, Osiris right. is still a thing. Oh no, Vans. Uh, Vans, I switched. Yeah. I never got paid from Osiris. It okay. was like talks, but okay. it, they were already kind of like Devin was having issues with it. I think. Excuse me, and then. Um, yeah, I mean, getting on Haro, I think, kind of like kickstarted that because mm-hmm. Colin, Colin was, yeah, yeah, he was the TM then, yeah, and then I started getting shoes, and then like I feel like very quickly they sent me a a deal. It was cool. probably within one year you went from making like nothing to pretty much six nothing. Figures. I made a little bit from Redline, and I made. Yeah, it's just Redline. Then all of a sudden, you're pro on like one of the biggest frame companies, biggest shoe company, Red Bull. Yeah, the my three like dream sponsors. (laughs) There's nothing else I could. Did you listen? Did you listen to the Rick Andy podcast? Yeah, yeah, like how he talked about just kind of this rapid onset of money, and Mm -hmm. then you not like appreciate. You can appreciate it because it comes so yeah quickly. I guess. I mean, I definitely i i appreciated it, but I didn't know how to handle it. Yeah, I didn't really have guidance i mean yeah i it would have been really smart never listen to me (laughs) (laughs) that was the one thing you didn't copy me on yeah for sure (laughs) you liked you liked all the other stuff and the money stuff you're like it was fun i yeah i had never like i mean i didn't really grow up with money and like my family didn't grow up with any money and it was cool i was like this is i would always ask my mom like can i buy i'm like should i buy this she's like should you know can you I'm not going to tell you no. It's your money and yeah, you worked yeah. for it. I mean, that's wise. And, like, yeah. and, and I Good was. Enough for me. I, was, yeah. I'm, yeah. I said, yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Um, but it was just dumb stuff, like paying dumb amounts of rent money. And then like, yeah. I got a couple of cars. And yeah. I was like the car thing. My, my wife and I talk about it all the time because we grew up, you know, poor, essentially, uh, relatively poor. And for us, like the car is like. It matters to us it, because that's we didn't what have it that did. growing like, up. It with, felt so good because yeah. you spend so much time in a car. Like it's no excuse. It's still just at the it's end of the stupid, day, it's a material but, possession. Yeah. It, you know the car that I have now. It's like a 2006 Toyota Highlander. It now does, you're living like it me. does the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. It took ten years. <laughs> yeah, it, it does the same thing. But yeah, I, but I, you had, but you at that time you had that Camaro that he won. No, I won a Subaru. You won a, oh. won a Subaru. Oh, you did? I yeah, bought that Camaro out. for a tax write-off, you bu- oh, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't. <laughs> real quick, I was like, my dad's like, you need to buy something real fast. I was like, yeah. The car drove by in the back of the trailer, and I was like, I'll get one of those. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I sold it right away, too. So yeah. that was the dumbest <laughs> thing I ever bought, but I didn't lose money on it. Hey, and then really. you yeah. still got to see it all the time. John, I, didn't John Bull did Yeah, he it, bought right? that. I raced yeah. it. I got a shitload of tickets. Almost got my license <laughs> yeah. taken away. So I did fuck up with money on one thing. A little thing. bit, yeah. 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 So that was my that, was my, that part. So. Yeah, he's like, I like the nice car So the thing. first car, the <laughs> first car cool. was the Mercedes or an M5? Yeah, it was the M5. The M5, yeah. Yeah, that thing yeah. was nasty. Yeah, I think. Tyler scary. was so fucking crazy, dude. I drove with you one time. Uh-huh. I never drove with you again. <laughs> and then ever. I was like, I'm never driving Yeah, a lot again. of people wouldn't get in the car. Dude, and then like he'd have his bike on the rack and we'd be leaving a spot and he'd be like, I'll meet you wherever. And you just... He'd be behind her or whatever, and he would just come through traffic. It just looks so insane. And I'm like, how do you, you not can get see my bike on yes. the roof too? Yeah. yeah, like normally fast cars just disappear, but it's like you've seen him until like the horizon. Just like, how did you not get a thousand tickets? I've never had a ticket to this. That's day. insane. And I drove. Yeah. Not you drove it crazier than I've ever seen. So uh, I, I, I just buried the speedometer. I did like 196 in it. You just on step on 96. I think it did like 210 is what it said. Yeah. But I almost. So just to nail That's home the story that, that Dennis said, there's at least twice where I was on the freeway and you would, we were not together at uh-huh. all and you would shoot by me. Well, yeah. And, and it was like or something Matt like Red. that. It was Matt like, Red. It looked yeah, like yes. a couldn't crayon miss it. going down the street. And you never yeah. got a ticket. Never. And I was literally like, I, oh, I, I, did get, I yeah, got pulled like, over leaving LaMesa oh, one time. Oh, you didn't know he was with you? No, no, we were, were not together. He was just, I was always on the freeway and he was going 120 And I always drove over like at least 120, like 120. Just so fun, dude. Yeah. I mean, I feel I don't drive. It's crazy. I don't drive. That's why I got rid of that fast car I had because I was like, when you're going. Yeah. 80 you're like 
put, 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 put. Yeah. yeah. Feel you want to go yeah. fast because it's fun. Yeah. And, and in it's my car going 80, it feels like you're doing 120. Yeah. Like, 80's like, calm down. <laughs> Yeah, like those cars were just built so well. One hundred. They want to go one hundred. I could be like no hands on the wheel like, mm-hmm. doing a hundred, and it's driving. It's you up. so you said you got pulled over one time. Yeah, one time leaving La Mesa to go back to like, I think my Bankers Hill spot at the time, but yeah, I got pulled over doing like a hundred and six. I think he clocked me at, and he let you go. I I've been pulled over a couple times, and I've gotten let go every time. I just am like. He was basically like, what the fuck? You're a fucking It was idiot. like two in the morning. <laughs> I had Kodak. Kodak was like this big still yeah. in the front seat. And I was like, I have no excuse. It's two in the morning. There's no one on the road. I'm, I'm eight, not drunk. I'm 18 yeah. Yeah. and this car is fucking sick. <laughs> and the cops I, like that's i wish i had that car yeah that's he's like, like i appreciate yeah, your just always been honesty like brutally it sometimes doesn't work sometimes yeah, you're like yeah. yeah you're an idiot and you deserve this but the like two or three cops i've gotten it's the same thing i'm like i have no excuse i'm sorry there's nobody on the road and i was just letting loose i have a similar i haven't had the same like he's like don't do it again over 100 and i was driving home from, and that's like, enough to lose your license yeah. right that's 30 overs reckless driving i think i mean oh yeah over 100 for so, sure yeah so crazy that's so funny <laughs> and then uh m so m5 and then you had the mercedes which was yeah fast as well that I'm thing, sure. yeah, yeah it was a little slower but it was more like luxury why'd you get rid of the m5 because once those cars hit a hundred thousand miles they start like bmw so, just yeah. it's just a money pit yeah like the computer system went out in it and it was like 2500 bucks to fix yeah i just didn't it. need it yeah and then uh and then i bought a motorcycles from the freaking crotch rocket i bought oh my god and then he was doing the same <laughs> shit on a crotch rocket like, <laughs> that I, thing like, did a, i hit 200 on it this did a, a hundred in i think it did like 102 in first gear <laughs> <laughs> that thing was so i was like there it you was go. the fastest like, he at made the, it through time. the car thing and now he's got the like now you're like in a bullet you're yeah i die you die in that. yeah yeah you die for sure that you die in the car but you but heard the other motorcycles people in like the process yeah the car that i think i remember saying that i was like well now at least, at least he doesn't I hurt anyone myself. else yeah yeah because you're like you got something you could drive this is crazy without I, putting anyone i else got in rid danger. of that one because it was like it scared me. It actually scared it's you. It's so crazy. That scared me. That scared everyone. It was We're the all fastest like, street legal That's, bike in the world. Was it an R6 or something? No, it was a S1000 <laughs> RR. The, R-R. It was a BMW. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it was a 1000 cc uh-huh. motorcycle. Yeah. It was, how long did you have that? That wasn't too long lived. It's less than a year. Less six year. months. Yeah. Doing wheelies and shit on it? Trying. It's really just getting from here to Nakoa in like 15 minutes. I think I remember <laughs> just I putted it down my street and I was like, it's oh my nasty. God. Just yeah. playing, it's like just letting re- the clutch off. You're like, oh, it's, I couldn't. It's like yeah. if you flick your wrist, it's a bing. machine. It's yeah. a bullet. It's it's a bullet. Of, if I was like into blip the throttle and just like shoot. Yeah, it would somebody shoot up in the sky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I honestly, I wanted it because like I would see all these videos, like guys put their GoPro on and get in front of cops and then just take off. So I was like doing that a bunch because they can't catch you. <laughs> It's it's impossible, and that's injury too. That that you go from that Tyler to uh-huh. like doing all these tricks you want, scaring yourself, traveling to like injuries. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's like the first time since you've been a little ever that yeah. that neck injury thing put you on hold. For, it was like on and off for like years, and then all of a sudden you're like you started climbing bridges. You started putting yeah. GoPros that was another on thing. I would, bridge, when I was bridges. bored, I would go like hang off buildings and climb bridges. What's that bridge? What that had the spot. The, the, like the riding spot yeah, under it. in San Diego that one oh, yeah, yeah I like go one you myself on. it's right by that yeah. like the same mm-hmm. canyon yeah. yeah just by myself go climb that hang off it one hand <laughs> and then I hung off the balcony at <laughs> the Danny Way that video oh yeah people love that the, one the, the if, if I if it, this is it it's over yeah I go. Like, if I slip it's all over yeah that was really reckless. That was six. It's funny looking I at was it now because you night can before. see all that was just to make up for what the love of riding. Yeah. Like, like I said, like riding did all that. You, ride, you lost riding and you're like, I got to climb bridges. I got to party. I got to fucking make up for the, what that you can just go to a skate park and get that session. Mm-hmm. And now you're like, I'm good. Yeah. It's pretty well, awesome. I, I kind of had that realization the other day when I was in Florida. Um, I was trying that clip where I like hopped the rail and landed on the deck the of the mini awesome. and then bar into mm-hmm. the fence. I was like really, I was scared to hop the rail because the rail was really tall and really close. And I was scared. I just kept picturing myself clipping it and going over the bars. But I was having a really hard day, like mentally. Just, I was just super anxious. I was ready to get out of Florida and I just this did one. not feel good. Yeah, this clip. Um, 
yeah, I just kept picturing clipping it and, and seeing it now is fine, but I love that. Clip. It was point, so it was so you for well, you. Know, I was gonna like, say this like, was the first clip where it's like you're not riding street yet, you know? Yeah. But this one was like, that's oh, a, he's ready. That's a street. Yeah. He's clip. ready. Yeah. Because yeah, I just haven't been, like, been in the streets. Like talent, tech, skate park, uh -huh. and this one was like, oh, yeah, he like can be in the streets uh -huh. now. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I was like, you got your man muscle because. When we used to ride together, you would have never thrown the bars into that fence. Mm. Now you can like, yeah, now you're I, like a whole different. I did human. it, and I'm like, I took it, and I was like, oh, that was sick. And then I'm like, I could, I could throw the bars in there. Oh yeah, that's something like even little Tyler in your prime wouldn't have done. I don't think. Yeah, you with the definitely got to be strong to like get that in there. Real yeah, quick. it's sick. nice. I was telling him on the phone the other day, like, I don't really like work out or anything, but I just kind of grew up, and now it's like riding's easy yeah okay. I was like, just you know, like tail whips like, and stuff like i can actually do a hop whip i can do hop switch whips and stuff that yeah. i never used to be able to do but unless i sent myself down a big stair set yeah using yeah. gravity yeah. you were a pro as like a kid mm -hmm. now you can be a pro as a man it's like a yeah. whole new chapter yeah oh whole but back to my my ways. point of that clip like oh, yeah, i was having a really hard day mentally and just like so in my head super anxious and then like scared myself best the rest of the day it was fine great yeah and then yeah. that just you know it showed that's what i've done my whole life like i'm living on like i have to like as lame sounds living on the edge yeah. like all day i do it in my car i do it on the motorcycle i go party and go hang off the balcony and piss everyone off and but it made me feel good and yeah. feel alive because otherwise I, then i'm just like trapped in my mind it's weird yeah. to just like the, gotta get that get scared and then get over it and it feels like an accomplishment like is there a fear like i don't know if it's a weird question but like is there a fear of death at all like hanging off a balcony i don't i'm not scared of but you trust yourself saying, i'm not scared of death yeah. no i'm not scared of death but i'm scared to be alive and be like a vegetable yeah i'm way more fearful yeah. of that yeah that I makes sense i don't i'm not i'm ready to die yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's, yeah. it's just part of it it's not something that scares me yeah i think living and being in a bad state of mind is way more scary. Yeah. Like having to go through, you know, that's why like mental health stuff is so important because you, when it's really bad, you feel like you're living in a hell mm -hmm. all the time. You're mm -hmm. like on earth, but you feel like you're living, you're trapped in this crazy world in your head. And like, uh, that's the worst. Yeah. So, um, so variety has got to really help that for sure. Like, yeah. That's just the clarity. Clouding, yeah. The clarity for that's sure. That's what sucks when you see someone, you know, they're going through something shitty and they're just fucking putting shit in their bodies. That's just making it worse every day. You're like, Oh, step one, stop that. Yeah. You know, on the outside, it's so but easy. It, and it, but it's see. so hard because when you're doing it, you know, it's like my relief. It's helping. And it, it's you think helping. it's helping. You it's think helping. it's helping, but really it's every day helping. it's compounding. And then it's harder to stop, harder to, then it takes like a month to feel even somewhat normal. Like that after the last time I drank, yeah, it was like a, a month of like, and I feel so bad. I'm, like it affects me so much. I used to be able to go to simple session, get, stay up till two in the morning, then go ride and do halfway decent. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, if I even have one night, it's going to take me a week to feel somewhat normal on my bike. Yeah, It's just yeah. so not worth it. Yeah. Um, but when you're like so you mentioned danny way so danny mm -hmm. way was the one that filmed the hanging off the balcony mm -hmm. how do you what is what's surrounding hanging off the balcony so you said you were partying mm -hmm. and you do that how do you end up partying with danny way <laughs> hanging off the balcony? i met danny at jacob's house okay he used to hang out at my neighbors I mean, oh yeah this <laughs> neighbor right. thing is like it, way it crazy just, than anybody thinks yeah, yeah it was yeah. full like, like anybody the could hottest girls the in door. southern california danny way would just be there it's like yeah and these were the guys i just happened to moved next, next to him. yeah it yeah. was and it just, was so weird it was oh man yeah the, it was like actual like supermodels like we're coming from la like all the time and it was just fun and not the same <laughs> not really the same cool. supermodels and, like what do you actually do like oh you make a shitload of money because you're uh -huh. hot <laughs> yeah. yeah and yeah and i was like really young cute kid and they all wanted a piece of me <laughs> 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 nah. but uh yeah i met danny there and then um we we connected super hard i mean we we're both intoxicated but and i thought it was going to be like one of those things like this is danny way like, yeah we're never going to talk again yeah. he gave me his number the very next day he's like hey I'm, he lived in um <clears throat> I don't know, like lucadia or something super crazy mansion but he was like come over let's you know let's hang out i went over and he like showed me just everything we hung out and then built this crazy bond i ended up spending more time with danny than like anybody else for a pretty solid like year or two that's like, crazy he would be calling me and it still would be like a trip fuck danny <laughs> calling like, me to like talk about like 
normal like relationship advice like he was going through something yeah. and like not to get too into details but just stuff like that you know like we were boys and then um yeah and then we were party boys and <laughs> i mean it, to, he had a pretty public battle with substance for abuse sure too, right? yeah yeah so yeah he was going through was it that before that was that after he like, was he's really got a strong-minded person like he'd be like i'm done Col uh -huh. totally cold turkey sober but yeah but then i was with him through times of like i don't know if it was like um he was having issues with it, but he definitely yeah. was like partying. Yeah. I think he's still another like, guy just like Jacob, though, where it was like endless money. So it's yeah, hard to he's be like set. When he's I, set, dude. Like yeah. he doesn't. I don't want to speak for anybody. Yeah, same, money. same. Yeah. I don't want to do that. But they're not though. waking up to go to work, so they're like, yeah. Do I want to just I party for a month? Like, he's got money. Kind of his money is <laughs> yeah. making money. Type yeah, of thing like while he sleeps, he's making money. So and then, but yeah, that was a super crazy chapter that I was hanging out with him all the time, and that was some of the best times too. And then, sure. I mean, Leticia, Buf what are, I, don't I, even know how to say, I don't even know how to say her name. Buffoni. 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 Buffoni, yeah. Buffoni. Yeah. Like, is that, how does that, I just like, <laughs> I'm just so here, random. I, from, from my perspective is like, you and I weren't talking at that point and it's yeah. like not anything bad, obviously, nah, but I was like, just doing my thing. yeah. And I'm like, all right, he's got the same color wrapped car as uh -huh. Leticia. Is he dating Leticia? Everyone thought that. And, I, and the, the people were like, no, he just lives, he lives with her. So I met I'm her. Like, uh, Red Bull does like a athlete summit thing every year. Uh -huh. They get all the North American athletes together and they flew us all out to Willie Nelson's ranch. <laughs> okay. So random. So cool. Uh, but she was there and we just. Like, Bongs full of Red Bull again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just <laughs> connected and bonded yeah. pretty heavy. And she was like, you should move to LA. And I was like, ah, I don't really like LA. And also I don't know where I would live. I don't really want to like spend all that money. And she's like, live with me yeah and i was like thought it was a joke she's like no really like i want a roommate so then i'm yeah that was the plan and then i was like i'm wrapping my car purple and she's like i want to wrap my car purple it was pretty cool it was a time yeah. where we're just like driving around in six sports cars and it was a fun it didn't last very long she ended up like wanting a lot more money for rent than i was willing to mm. especially like yeah, I, don't, I just you didn't necessarily want to be in LA. Either. I didn't want to yeah. be there. It was just like a cool opportunity. I'm not bummed. I did. I had a yeah. skate park in the backyard, and I was like, another uh, little story to yeah. add to my book. I lived with Tisha, one of the sickest female skateboarder in the world. Yeah, and got to you know, and then I got to meet a bunch of people. I was like hanging out with Nigel all the time, and. It was I just ended super. Up her best friend for like a you year ended up. That. That's <laughs> right, dude. Oh, that's yeah. He nice. started talking to some girl. Right, when you moved out, I like became hanging out there. I'm like, fuck. Like, well, yeah. He started talking to gone. some girl, and I'm like, he sees me on this girl's story because she it was her best friend. She's over at the house. She was like filming me ride the mini ramp. Yeah. And then, yeah. Weird enough through all those connections, <laughs> but then you move out, and I'm like. Now I'm where the fuck's Tyler? Yeah, it was gonna be like it was <laughs> like, gonna be sick because no, I was like, like oh yeah, you there lived there. And, this is cool. Yeah, it funny just, story. It didn't end up working. Is it out, was but. any of those things like purely positive? Like a, a positive? Besides, like it seems like there was partying around that stuff. Was like was there enabling? I guess of like substance stuff, or was it like you're drinking the entire time, right? Uh, I, even in that time, I didn't really. No, no, yeah, I was pretty on it when i was living with her because we were going to red bull in the morning together to like work out and drank a little bit but it wasn't okay yeah so never, like it, you would never see me with like a beer in the middle of the day or anything like that okay yeah like how it ended up getting but um yeah it was good crazy crazy like bounce around you know Bounced, like, I and then wait isn't there a funny night just story oh yeah that is a good one i wasn't gonna bring it up but i mean, I, mean it, I think it's hilarious no, it's cool because so it was, they threw a party at our, at Leticia's house for, I think it was David Loy's birthday or something, mm -hmm. but it, everyone, that whole crew came over, Boo Johnson, Nigel, like all those dudes. And, uh, cool <clears throat> skaters, like the, the cool, cool club, of the cool LA club skateboarding. And I'm, I was already, obviously I was there. It was my house. I was riding before everyone showed up and then it slowly is turning into a party and, more people and then everyone's drinking and i just was still riding i wasn't drinking at all and then uh, people started calling shit out for me to do uh -huh. i was doing flares and like jumped off the roof into the quarter and, <clears throat> and i just was like getting all weird like 
he's just getting jealous. Uh -huh. Like he's the center of attention. Because after it all was done, I asked Latisha, I'm like, what was that about? Like, why was he? She's like, he's the center of attention. He he get he doesn't like when he's not. Yeah. And he wasn't skating. And uh, he called me out. He's like, yeah, do you, do, I bet you won't jump off the roof to flat. And I just, I'm like, at this point, I'm like, fuck, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Jump up there. I, I just like nolly barred off the roof to flat. Great. <laughs> great. Boom, Everyone's like, oh <laughs> my God. Like, everyone's all these drunk skaters are screaming bunch of girls and stuff and then he's like acts like i didn't do it yeah and then he says something to me i don't know how he worded it but it was something along the lines of like that was sick but like there's this dude who did like did this roof to rail that i saw and and then he names the school yeah and i'm like you're talking about me right now and he's like <laughs> He was trying to like, because everyone was listening to our conversation. He was trying was, to put you down. In he some was way. trying yeah. to like, yes, he was trying to shame me and make me feel like I'm not that good. It was so weird, <laughs> such a weird conversation. And he he tries to shut me down with the comment about someone doing a roof to rail, some amazing bike rider that he saw. Yeah, but he's talking about me to my face. Couldn't have been any more perfect. And I, yeah. oh, dude, that was like the best feeling ever. <laughs> I'm like. Uh, you're talking about me he's like no way and i'm like i mean was he wearing a red bull helmet and then i was like i forget at the time i remembered the school name crawford, crawford yeah. yep i'm like crawford like i'm like yeah that yeah. was me yeah. and he just like had nothing did he give say. you like all right we're homies i got nothing yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah you're cool as fuck, it was dude. no we ended up being it's like cool. i'm taller than you <laughs> yeah it ended up being cool but it was just like i fucked everyone i didn't even girls. know there was that much to it i heard it was just a funny thing he's like oh you're killing it but like here's the shit you need to be doing that's and he that's you what it was yeah. it was like that like yeah dude, there's this guy who's doing crazy shit like he's jumping yeah showed him a clip of him <laughs> like, and then yeah. i'm like yeah that's me <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Rare times is that ever. Yeah, like that like would that. never happen. Yeah, and yeah. He, he set himself up for yeah. that one. And there was everyone was standing around us listening to this back and forth like conversation. Like jump off the roof after you already did all this sick. Boom, do it. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. you still need to be doing these roof to rails. Yeah, yeah. He's like, but you're not jumping on rails. And I'm like, that was me, bitch. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty it was funny. a fun story. But no, but then we were cool. We ended up going out that night. and Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's definitely... I mean, I get it. He's the most famous skateboarder in the world. So he's very like clicky and doesn't, I've, doesn't I've let people in his circle. Because yeah. everybody yeah, people treat yeah. you like a celebrity. Everybody fanboys that, that dude's super hard. That's a real like a fucking B list celebrity of the whole world. For sure. Know? Yeah. yeah. I'm, but, I mean, my I've had the similar, not as similar. I did nothing, obviously, on a bike that would ever be impressive mm -hmm. to him. But uh, but <laughs> I was shooting photos for my. I don't know. Shooting those, photos. Those crashes. Yeah, pretty, crashes. I was going to yeah. say, he knocked probably out. Like, Holy uh, shit, watch those. those. <laughs> I was shooting photos for Monster for mm -hmm. Skate at X Games, and I like introduced myself, and there was three skaters, and it was like the Nija interaction was mm -hmm. like absolutely not fun at all you yeah. know and the Dude. other dudes were super cool and nice oh nice to meet you and nigel he like, doesn't even go in the like, athlete lounge at x games yeah. because he's famous to every single person at x games yeah. he's like oh, you know what i mean it's a crazy crazy level you know and there is where you're like the truth. athlete lounge is like oh it's a bunch of like big time athletes at x games you know they're all hanging out but he's probably like i'm gonna just go buy my own lunch because i don't want to yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah he's got his tight crew and yeah that's cool i respect it he's big time but he ended up being cool like Letitia like literally was like I watched her call him. She goes, look, this is my roommate. Yeah. Like, he lives with me. You need to chill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's, That's cool. He's cool. cool. He's accepted basically. Like, <laughs> and then I hung out for a couple months and then I was like, I'm over this. Yeah. These are my friends. Like, yeah. It was a cool experience, but I'm like trying to make them my friends in a way. Mm -hmm. That's not fun. I mean, it sounds like you had to prove yourself. Yeah. constantly they put yeah, yeah. like testing me yeah Jump yeah it'd be one roof. thing if you had like a little crew of like 10 bike riders i didn't know anybody but and we like, were in like she lived in a really weird so area, deep just deep valley not it's a like nice east area. county of not, la exactly yeah Nothing like so far there. away from everything i did not like that yeah um, i could see that you went to the house right oh yeah shitload yeah. of times yeah that was fun tell a story and guys then, no i'm still can i go yeah i got a freaking i got no stories um all right a little little bathroom break there we are back and back. then um back, back, back. so we you talked about the the neck injury as that seems to be like a a turning point yeah in, in a couple ways what what was there one crash no nope. no i think it was just jumping to flat like hundreds and if not thousands of times yeah. over the years and i can't remember when it like first started happening it was just like always kind of an issue and like, and sucks because it's kind of happening again right now. And I'm tripping. Yeah. It's not the disc. 
I'm worried that when I knock my teeth out, I might have shifted something. Mm. But I think it's just like a pinched nerve right now. But uh, yeah, I, I know when it got super serious, I had was about to go to, a, I think, a Vans bowl contest or something. <clears throat> and I drove up to Woodward by myself to just go get a little like one, two day mm-hmm. training session. And within five minutes of riding, like my neck completely just locked up. And I called Red Bull right away and then went, got in like the next day. They're sick. They're on it. Got in and then, uh, yeah, he was like, you're, you needed surgery like a year ago. I don't know how you're even, it was just the disc was blown to pieces. Really? That's my C5, C6. So they went in through my throat right here. So that's what that scar is from. And they pulled the disc out and then it's like a 3D printed like uh titanium and rubber disc that they put in <laughs> I but did like not know that. so so that and so then the unclick podcast was before the surgery because you didn't talk i i didn't know uh, that I, I, yeah yeah okay that's I didn't so to hard it, but, to remember yeah. but i think it was right before yeah or maybe right after so when you say you go you go into red it, bull yeah. do they even like have, because it's santa monica office did you have like a do they have a facility there they know they they have uh it's called disc the uh-huh. place is called disc and i worked with this guy dr bray i actually called them the other day and they never called me back because <laughs> i was thinking like you know it was paid for by red bull and yeah. maybe they'd be like oh like we take care of you guys forever i just wanted to get it looked at again because yeah. he told me that if anything ever happened which he almost guaranteed it wouldn't he's like you can just go back in, take the rubber out, and put a new one in. Yeah. Like a freaking car part. Yeah, very sim- simplification of something. something super yeah. Gnarly. Yeah. But um, you forgot the hundred grand part. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah, it was, uh, and then like the recovery was super chill from that. Like 10 minutes out of surgery, I could move my neck better than I could before. Crazy. And I had just, they had opened my whole throat and, and so Red Bull <coughs> Fuck, literally covered everything for mm-hmm. that. I didn't pay. That's time. incredible. Not a I mean, single dollar. Yeah. And they documented the whole thing. Like they filmed it all. and Crazy. Yeah. And then I haven't had, that was six years ago, I mm-hmm. think now. And I haven't had any issues since up until recently. Like the day before I flew to Florida, I was just riding. and just, eh, like, How long after the teeth slam was the flying to Florida? A couple weeks? Too long after, was it? Like two, three weeks two weeks yeah. i think it was like two weeks yeah Could i started riding that like fucking, we should go after that slam on your instagram Ugh, like that's a neck <laughs> neck blaster that's what i'm saying like that's what i'm tweet your neck in yeah. general that's what i'm thinking because like, then you started i didn't ride for a few weeks yeah. but then i was riding pretty hard. once i did start riding i was riding every day well that's usually like the back neck shit like something does it and then you you think you're okay, like an accident, and then you start riding hard, and then your muscles all go, and then it's like, oh, like I know what, what hurt it, like when it, I was I went to that National City Park, and I did I was trying truck manual three, and I had like a couple of those like trying to get that three out, I was like throwing my neck as hard as manual three, uh-huh. yeah. and it wasn't I did it perfect, and then like I just felt it tighten up, and within ten minutes it was like. Once the adrenaline went away, yeah. couldn't even move it. Uh, and yeah. then it was like, I flew to Florida the very next day. Was like walking around the airport like this. Took me like probably didn't ride for a week after getting there. And then people don't realize it because I was still putting out clips the whole time I was there. But I would like ride for like three days, get a, get a clip, not ride for three days. Yeah, yeah. Just to like keep trying to stay on it with the footage. But, yeah. Um, Crazy. And then yeah. what was the 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 recovery time was pretty quick after the surgery the, uh yeah it was like i wore a neck brace um for a month or so but like it was more what i started going to physical therapy and like i had to learn to strengthen these muscles mm-hmm. right here because when he wa- the doctor watched videos of me riding to see like he's like okay this makes sense every time i landed my neck was giving out and mm-hmm. just like crunching the disc back here yeah so I had to learn, like, kind of, like, retrain myself to ride, especially, like, bowls, because you always look. That's the one thing that kind of messes with my neck still. So you're always, like, looking, looking up. You're in yeah, the bottom of the bowl. So, like, you know, you see those, like, F1 drivers where they, like, do the neck exercises because, yeah, dude, because they, have the G, they have the Gs. So then it's like they, 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 that's they what I'm going to try and yeah. uh, start doing is, like, like honestly, I just want to, like, bulletproof this thing. Yeah. Let it calm. Yeah. It's almost feeling decent. So I wanted to calm down and then just kind of go hard with the, just 
yeah, try and build as much Get muscle strong. as I can. Yeah. That's smart. I'm supposed to start working with this uh, dude, personal trainer here soon too. And just kind of, I just want to build my foundation and it's mostly injury prevention. And also, you know, stronger you are, the easier everything kind of is. Yeah. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll just talk while we watch this a little bit too. I feel like, I feel like this is a good this time. Is nine, nine years ago. This is the best times ever. Yeah. So much fun. Baby. The salad days. Salad days? Yeah, it's like the term of like the good old days. I've never heard that. This was like after market zero. And we're like, all right, we're getting this young blood. We're going to get market just going crazy. All of a sudden it started like worldwide. We're selling shit. And then we shut it down. <laughs> Felt bad. Tyler was like, you know, you're on. We're doing this. And then I kind of just like freaked out. Freaking and I was like, I got to pull the plug. my hand for you guys. <laughs> you tattooed everything I know. for nobody. So <laughs> <laughs> at least at least we got that. Um. But yeah, and this, you this was, you brought so the first time you came to San Diego was Dennis bought the ticket. Is that what you said? I, the first time, yeah. like I think yeah. I got you a one way ticket. Yeah, and it was like just stay. And the plan was like I told See everyone, if like everyone likes me because everyone at first was like, you don't put people on market, you know, it's, and just like yeah, like especially someone from another state. That yeah, no really that nobody with. knew. I think I just talked to you on the phone maybe and heard good things about you. Right? Like, I don't know yeah. if we really met. Maybe we like no, hung out dude, Texas Toast like, a little bit or not something. Not even. Like, like, we kind of said, what's up? We had like, the first time I had ever seen you in person was at Woodward. You came up. I think you were, you guys were just like drinking Jack and oh, just, yeah. screwing around. Like, I remember seeing. Three uh, triple up to flat. Yeah, I had. <laughs> You're sitting dude, there. Dude, I had videos of you for so long. I wish I had that laptop. So, but I was like secretly filming your whole stuff. <laughs> and just dying, dude. Yeah, like you were getting smoked on the resi. But, yeah, I went with Morello and we were definitely uh -huh. drinking in the parking lot. I remember lot. seeing Morello try, <laughs> try bar spins over the resi. Just like arms in the air. Like, so yeah, okay. Dude. So that's when I met you. But you were a baby. But we didn't really then. even talk. Yeah, you were just doing your thing. And then I remember like, Lene had you send a video of saying happy birthday mm. to me and like that's so cute. Yeah, it is for <laughs> little baby Tyler. It's crazy. Yeah. I was that was like a really awesome gift for me. Yeah. Yeah, but I was like, let's let's see what this kid's all about. And everyone's like, yeah, let's just bring him out and kind of feel him out. Cause at that point, me, Connor, Ronnie, Christian, oh, Jonas. You guys are very established. Everyone dude. besides like Rob and Jeff that's lived together spot. for the most part. That's a sick clip. That's such a random. Yeah, it's cool. Sure. Him coming out though motivated me like crazy because I was kind of at a point where I didn't really have anybody besides like the same kind of thing where I was watching like Milton Martinez and like I had these skaters that motivated yeah. me, but no one really rode like me really yeah. in the streets that I could like relate with. And then you came out and I was like, fuck yeah. Like yeah. this kid that is part of the crew now like is motivating me. This like this part made me film caps lock, I think, or something because mm -hmm. I was like in a rut where I was like, eh, like Marcus Zero didn't really go how I wanted yeah. it to go video part wise and and then you you were doing all this stuff that i was like oh my god like that makes street look so fun to me go fast go just or even like, i remember you did the pull back to roof to truck <laughs> off trying, yeah I was trying oh to, that was one of my favorite a, clips that dude. one made me like that literally is like that is honestly like, i love that back clip. on it that is a sick ass clip. dude if you go made, if you it, go that to that, that spot, clip made me like yeah. fucking want to film another video part because i was like that it's what it's, i want to do is that's find, the like, type same that's the type of riding and filming that i want to do now is like i don't need we were to doing do so that. much shit. that yeah, was so sick yeah. though i remember i had to leave i was like fuck i gotta leave dude that is, we're in norcal and i, I found died on that one too i got loose there was all those bmx kids randomly there remember that there was like uh -huh. a crew of like random riders mm -hmm. that, that it, was nothing nice will ever give that justice nice one to check off the list be cool to go back and try and it's gone ah uh, i was gonna say bar out of it but yeah that was that one footage is this is so crazy, too. He did <laughs> oh, this twice. Crazy. So yeah. loose. Yeah, I didn't. On two different bikes. I didn't like the first one. You go back a different day? Yeah, I was like, I was on a red line, I think, the first time. Love I, that clip, too. That that's whole a, which is crazy yeah. spot. That, when he did that, too, I was like, he knows how to find spots. Like, you don't, because a lot of times, like, with new kids, like, I have to show them, uh -huh. do this, do this, do this. But mm -hmm. then he found that, and I'm like, I, I didn't even see just, that. just, like, an like, eye yeah. for you weird do. things. This was like 45 minutes of like everyone together on that. Like we we're all so like with so, you. Like, well, uh, fuck. The thing that got me to go is I got a slow leak on the roof. Remember, I'm like, my tire is going flat. I'm like, I'm not fucking coming down. It was one of those where you were up there rail. for like long enough. Who, like, whose idea was it? 
Like it was it. How did this, that even come up? Yeah, probably Christian. I think we were like, let's just go to this school, maybe. And then I, I mean, it's was a good like, school. Christians like, filled with good ideas for people that like are like oh, he'll push you and be like, you got that. You're like, yeah. Huh. You have to tell him like, no, I don't. Sometimes, but that one, I could see Christian being like, that's you should like the roof rail. That's what we live for. Yeah, that moment. Yeah, right there, like. Chris. after the trick it was like that feeling nothing we're yeah, always you're always chasing that feeling yeah you're just like on a high it's so yeah. cool the natural high 45 minutes just Something run like ups that. i was pretty yeah like because yeah. well, i was like being setting, up there looking at it yeah i can tell he pulled the trigger i got up there minutes. and then i don't i didn't even get down remember i was like someone go get my helmet yeah and then it was like, game on i was like telling he's doing it yeah. he's doing it i was telling everyone he's gonna do it <laughs> Jonas is on the roof with you uh -huh. hanging out. Like, I feel like all of us had went on the roof at one point. Connor was up there filming it with uh -huh. you. That was a sick one. Yeah. All the tricks that have been done on those rails. And then that's like another game changing thing to like look at the roof. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> was, yeah, it too like was it too perfect though? Like it was it literally like it, it looks like. I mean, when you, you do it flawlessly, it makes it look perfect, I, but like, was it? It's hard to remember, but I mean, I just had that switch. I remember yeah. looking at it, I'm like, just go straight. Yeah. It's easy, you know, just, I put a little rock there and I'm like, go just to the left of the rock and keep it straight. Don't miss a peg. But yeah, yeah it, it Joey, worked out freaking. The hell was Joey running from? I think security. <laughs> Joey, <Yeah>. security. <laughs> it's good idea. Oh, that feel I remember that. It was so scary. I was so relieved. It's just blind. You don't see it till you commit. Yeah. You can't yeah. actually see it. No matter how many run ups you do, you just got to like. And then when you're going off of it, you're so high above the rail. It looks like you're not, you're going to go like past. The yeah. Rail. That's what, it, if anything, it almost looks like short, you mm -hmm. know? Market was doing so good at that point. We got a, a cease and assist from Jack Daniels. For making those shirts like i actually got really? a letter from jack daniels that's oh, hilarious instead that's of being right. bummed i was like jack daniels is We've like worried seen, about they've us. seen it <laughs> yeah what <laughs> i think we just kept selling yeah, it yeah <laughs> yeah because this video is like part red bull part red line part haro but i feel like i didn't i didn't film for that long it just all that happened like overnight yeah no yeah because i'm in osiris red line no red bull and then the next, like all the rest of the clips are like vans. Oh, I say that a lot. Like some people, it takes so long for all that to happen. If it ever does happen. And you were like, it seemed like three months, every sponsor you wanted. Yeah. Well, I think that's what, while making this part. So after all the sponsors, you like drop that. Yeah. So I was like, we made a good decision. Yeah. That's what's cool. Like right now, I'm just like, I'm so hyped on Like nothing's like really like happening fast, but like, I know what I want. I know like where my, what my goals are. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's mostly just to be consistent on my bike because it yeah. keeps me happy, but it's cool. Like it's really only been like six months of us like riding, you know, you yeah. see, I, I put out a clip almost every single day. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. I kind of turned that into like my job. Like, all right, I'm going out, I'm getting something, what skate park, whatever, keep myself busy, but like things are happening and it's really fun. Yeah. It's like, cause I've already done it once, you know, I've done it from absolute ground zero and then got like every sponsor i could have wanted yeah. and then i lost them all yeah and so it's cool to like doing it again I don't, and and I don't know it what seems like it's, a, it's, it's almost like a, it's almost like a your motivation first is is that self-therapy and then and enjoy and then enjoyment yeah. and, no, and, and and enjoying what you're doing and then if that stuff comes back if it cool. comes cool if yeah. not i don't care because well for one i'm making it happen right now as far as i'm not making any money really but like i'm yeah. making it happen yeah i got some i some so I, I yeah i ride for a company called microdosify mm -hmm. it's a mushroom company based out of canada but oh okay he, he pays me cool pretty decent amount and um not only that like that's a super cool thing that happened randomly and he just another thing where he heard my story really loved it supported me and it's just kind of been there we've never even met yeah but like we facetime all the time and He's totally um, the owner of the company. He's just been Ugh. super supportive. That's and, cool. Uh, and you know, I don't want to talk too much about like mushrooms, whatnot. But it's it's a, I mean, yeah. a sponsor though. It's like, a sp yeah, it's a sponsor. I just don't know like how that psychedelic mushrooms. Yeah, so it's they're, you can talk about whatever you want. Capsule. Yeah, I thought we were gonna take one. 
What a thing I totally <laughs> forgot. You can. I'm down. There, I have them in my bag right there. But yeah, it's called Microdosify, and they're just um, little capsules. They have gummies too, but they're also cut with lion's mane, which is super good yeah. for neurological issues and kind of rebuilding the brain. But that, yeah, that's my only um, paying sponsor right now. And oh, cool. He doesn't ask much of me. And there's still like a fine line on Instagram. You know, you don't yeah, want to say that's not really legal. Don't yeah. want to push it? the push that and get my Instagram flagged or anything. So yeah, I'll do it. I did like a story yesterday and just I'm just not selling anything. Yeah, it's okay yeah. to post. Things. Yeah, I'm just there's no not, discount code. Not saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're I, actually taking it, too. So what is yeah. easy, easier thing? To it's and it's something endorse. that is truly helped me i've been meaning to kind of talk about this on a podcast mm -hmm. and like um but yeah it's something that truly helps me and it's you know i'm not tripping yeah, all yeah high on something it just kind of for me it helps it helps me slow down helps me be patient with myself because that's what happens i get really in my head and get overwhelmed and just feel like the world is on top of me mm -hmm. and it kind of slows me down. I really like taking them before I ride mm -hmm. just chill session. It kind of opens, makes it a little more creative, but um, we got some cool things in the works with that too. I want to do like a sort of like mini doc documentary style video where I, with some riding, but like also just talking about how it's helped me and how he's helped me. But uh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, there's there's Very real cool. science. There's super. There's a, a bunch of science backing that's, it. That yeah, it, it it does it does help. Oh, it helps in, in a lot tremendously. Of ways. Yeah. It's been because I don't. I'm not on any medication. I, it's been offered and suggested mm -hmm. so many times. I don't take anything. Well, um, yeah, I, uh, it's cool to have them backing me. Yeah, and um, and that's the thing. Like this time around with riding, like, what's it called? Microdosify. They're you want to be as good yeah. as Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah and I that's always, how he's getting these. Crazy I always clips. say if you're if you're interested <laughs> in it, if that's something you see yourself wanting to try or even just know about, just DM me, and I can go into detail there. I'm not going to post yeah, anything, yeah, and yeah. I, I can guide you in how to getting some and yeah. Um, and that's another thing I we do talk. have a code if oh, you nice. want to like yeah. order some. So you just got to come directly to me or. You can go to their page. It's just microdosify. It looks just like a meme page. You just post like That's funny. Yeah. Like, like mushroom kind of like yeah stuff like that. But if you DM them and let them know you came for me, yeah. they'll help you out. Uh, but um, over over eighteen, uh, you have to buy it off of you know six miles off the coast of the United States, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Is, Is it? So, yeah. What are the rules? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I You're not I, sure about it. I don't know. I, it's okay. so crazy. It, it's yeah. honestly kind of crazy that mushrooms like it's aren't, all aren't legal. Yeah, for sure, know, it is like, insane. Like and not long ago, they yeah. were like on the same list as like really bad, like actually like terrible drugs. Yeah. yeah, 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 pretty crazy. Like drugs that fuck you up. So, <laughs> yeah, but um, I I'm super, as always be responsible for right? sure. Yeah, yeah whatever you're gonna do, yeah. and like you know, it's not for everybody, but for me, it's been one of, if not probably the most important part of, other than being sober, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm that still doesn't break for me. It's alcohol. Yeah, that's my problem. I've yeah. never had a problem with like drugs or anything but uh yeah um, um i my what i was saying is just like this time around with riding like and if i do end up riding for anybody like i just want it to be like things i fully back yeah and fully support and people that i really like rock with and you yeah, know like, as you should enjoy the, yeah like it's a good strategy it's like you're taking your time with the comeback take your time no with the rush. people that back you too i want to take it slow and like if people want to work with me and like, you know, shout out to kink BMX. They hooked me up with a whole new bike. Love to see that. Nothing yeah. official with them, but, um, and I saw that I went on their website to look at the team and I was like, Oh, no. Tyler got on there. <laughs> this is like the yeah. team. It already yeah. is like the team, but I mean, it, it, like that, that's like, cause there's nobody like you on the team. Yeah. There's nobody like you on any team, Yeah, but kink, it's like, Holy shit. This yeah. is the most all around package deal. Right here if you put like, Tyler on one of Jero, probably one of the few teams, like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to just take whatever is offered. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't have interest in that. I'd rather do me without any sort of obligations and, like, do it exactly my way. Unless it's someone that I really rock with and I love everything about Kink. I love what yeah. they do. I love their teams. I love Jay. and Nate, I, Nathan is actually somebody who I've been riding with mostly. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Feels like I'm on the team kind of in a way. Yeah. But – uh. Yeah, and they, Calvin was it, down the other day. I right? was hanging yeah. out with Calvin, yeah. and yeah, it's a really. I just love. I've always, 
I actually almost rode for Kink years ago. Oh, Nobody really? knows that other yeah. than him. But yeah. You and, stole him and put him on RO. And, a too deep of a story for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, now I'm intrigued. But it was like I was on Haro and it was yeah. like maybe go to Kink. And yeah. I ended up staying on Haro. But yeah, like um, that's probably the only team. Other, I mean, I would love, well, like, I, I would ride for Haro again, only it, basically because it's like Dennis, it, yeah, Dennis and Diego. Chad are my best friends. Yeah. And I live here. I'm not leaving here. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. But, you know, I'm cool with I like having as far as I know how too. kink operates, it's always the slow, the slow path, like, and, uh-huh. and kind of you slow, know, long, long yeah, term. Like, hey, yeah, let's which get, is let's cool. You a bike. There's mm-hmm. no, there's no obligations from yeah. us. We don't expect anything from you. Maybe an opportunity comes up or we're in San Diego yeah. and then it's like, and then hopefully it, it I feel like it's slowly. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not saying anything. I don't, yeah. you know, it just, yeah. but I've been ha- hanging, hanging with the dudes and. I'm really close with Nathan. Like yeah. we have been for years. We've spent a lot of time together, and um, he he even said himself, he's like, I I hope that happens. Yeah, really cool. Yeah. It's not in his control, but you know, yeah. I hope it happens. I hope like, so. so that yeah. would be King sick. And yeah, you, like that would be a good fit. They're yeah. just so solid. Yeah, from the from way they, the way they run the company to who's else. on the team oh, yeah. mm-hmm. to the parts. Like putting that bike together was like. I was like blown away how mm-hmm. it was like a puzzle, just psh, mm-hmm. like it fit Snapped so together. well. I was yeah. like, this is crazy. You didn't need to bang the bike together. <laughs> yeah. Ditch was, the sledgehammers. <laughs> yeah. It was just, I, dude, I pushed the bearings in with my hands. I hit it with my palm, the bottom bracket bearings. When That's I cool. That's crazy. But yeah, I'm, I'm super hyped on that bike. I've been loving it. And shout out to Jay for sending that over. He randomly messaged me and was like, if you need anything from Kink or Cinema, and I was like, actually, mm, I say I yes. Can't. I was like, I kind of <laughs> felt bad because I was like, I need a, I want a whole new bike. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on the Haro and Premium for a, a while. I got that like a year ago and I just beat it up. Yeah. So, yeah. and he was so, I mean, somebody everything. like you that rides so much and, and, yeah, you know, I'm you riding know. like four or five hours a day, yeah. every day. And yeah. just kind of, I, I am pretty hard on my bike. So, yeah. And I haven't put a dent in it yet. So, Look, yeah. Um, I do feel like we should obviously talk about uh, this this thing. This, this isn't the correct one now that I'm looking at it. That's but the behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah, that's behind the scenes. Um, but before we, you know, you mentioned the 16 million views. Yeah, this um, was like a, when a people, blow up thing in between. This is my claim to fame. The BMX stuff. Yeah. This, this is another like, one of those things where like people hear, random people hear I ride BMX and they're like, oh, I saw this one video and I'm like, that's yeah, me. that's me. Yeah, yeah. It's it gets brought up like at a bar, like someone. Yeah, I didn't even know bikes. about that because yeah, obviously, like to me, you're the market part, the Michigan video, RO parts, demolition, mm-hmm. and then people would say how crazy this went, and I was like, that was the big truck driver, you know, like. But it yeah. related to it, it outside. It's, it was yeah. big. Yeah, I, I remember. The, I didn't realize the it first went so big. morning I woke up and it was like had been reshared by like Bam Margera, Rob Deerdeck. Mm-hmm like uh, just random like, just rappers yeah like wow look at all this. yeah mm-hmm. little wayne reposted it actually really yeah like, what the fuck i mean the happening? video the video is put together so well with the mm-hmm. narrator and stuff like that and then yeah. i was doing like inner like news stations all over remember i did one in your kitchen I did like mm-hmm. a maybe but i don't remember yeah. but yeah i had like random news stations from all different states hitting me up to do like zoom, wow. zoom interviews and stuff um, I, when, when I talk to people about like, oh, what's the craziest like thing you've worked on? I, mm. I bring up this, like it's for photos and stuff. Yeah. It, it is. It's super cool. It, it is one of, I can say it was probably the most stressful thing I ever had to film in my life. Agreed. Because like I, the pressure. I love that. Clip. And, ah, yeah. It's, just, I, it's such a cool, like flowing line. That's my favorite clip in this. Obviously the truck driver is the fucking. Yeah. There was a one clip that I, uh, I backed out of the roof. It was derail. a roof to rail. Yeah. yeah. And just, I just couldn't get my i i talked myself out of it couldn't get myself to do it so tyler probably good a, because i didn't ten, do the was, truck yeah it was 10 days, mm-hmm. 10, was days. It 10 days i think it was like eight to ten days i thought here. it was last thought it was like a week but yeah i feel like maybe eight days yeah yeah um i'm trying to think of the check that i got for the day rate i'm pretty sure it was 10 days but it's it's it was a crazy place to just go into every day for sure. It was and cold. It was cold. Super cold. I was wearing a jacket in between. Felt like there was zombies shoot. 
there. We're like, I got a torch, like yeah. drying ice on the yeah. ground. Like it looks like it's decent weather, but it was yeah, it freezing. Does. It was and freezing, the, yeah. The behind the scenes, of and that it kind was of stuff like always interesting. From like eight in the morning till we were done yeah. every day, mm -hmm. I was. And not a lot gas. of bike riding. No, the, yeah, a lot of waiting around. A lot of waiting around, and them then, setting yeah, up the angles, setting and up. Shit. These mm -hmm. guys never filmed building BMX. ramps, like whatever, making things work. Yeah, it was know? like business. Yeah, it felt like like a yeah. Like, it was a yeah. It was a production. It was and a then nobody show. to ride with, and nobody. And I'm hyping with. myself up to yeah. do the scariest thing at that time I'd ever done. Yeah, a truck might be the scariest thing I've ever. I thought. Tried. I mean, we'll get there, but I thought you were fucking done. I thought that sound that you made the first one. Yeah, I got impaled freaking, basically. Yeah, it felt Dude. like it. It was crazy. So the the roof to rail thing, and it was like. I it was a just, roof to rail, and then I was going to jump off the yeah. roof again right after. Yeah. I just, <laughs> and it was like he he was like he was so roof to rail the roof. He was uh, he was up there the like with kind, of, kind of similar to the Crawford thing, like forty five minutes up there, like, and you had fuck. and you had to, and you got down and I, and I remember you were like you were I broke wealthy, down. you were wealthy, yeah, I or you to, like, were tear up. I worked and I was myself like, Dude, up so much. It does, I was like, it doesn't fucking. I remember, yeah, you had a you like pulled me to the side and you're like, fuck that, dude. It was like, don't do it. Like you did. You've done so much already. You got something. And I left. hadn't done the like, truck yet. Yeah. Either, I was, was like, you like had that, that thing was coming. And I was like, dude, this video is going to be fucking great. And it, and it doesn't need yeah. this. And nobody's going to know you didn't do this. Yeah. I was just not beating until myself up so, <laughs> so hard over it. Like I wanted Yeah. It was so hard. Bad. Yeah. It was a, it was a dude. I, I remember sitting there. This podcast is brought to you by Camp Woodward. Yeah. All the Woodwards, Woodward West, Woodward PA, Woodward Tahoe and Woodward, Colorado. I've been to the two, Woodward West and Woodward PA, and they are amazing. Yeah, I went to Woodward West with, with this young gentleman right here. Over the weekend. Over the weekend. We had a great time, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> There's a dozen in a place that looks nice. Uh-huh. There you can ride bikes. Yep. Have fun. Mm-hmm. Truly did. It was actually two days of uh, just just messing around and, and riding bikes and jumping on trampolines and doing little parkour stuff and checking out some snow it was honestly a cool weekend the snow was cold <laughs> snow was is cold. cold and uh <laughs> and right you now I, you should say jinx because you say that at the same time that's jinx. true <laughs> too funny dude um, but uh, you can go on the website yeah but there's see the so visiting there's, pros see mm -hmm. all the you can do camps throughout the summer as a a kid mm -hmm. but you also there's adult stuff in the off season there's yeah. tons of different stuff yeah. tons of visiting pros just endless stuff to do at all the camps they're releasing the visiting pros uh as as the summer goes on or gets closer they have nyquist in august that they're releasing and a couple of they got a street dude they got a they got a ramp legend in there and then uh, somebody has to look my tricks that and we do love your tricks dude so thank <laughs> yeah. you thank you and then uh woodward west has a pretty crazy deal right now you can see it up here on the screen uh not fifteen hundred dollars not thirteen hundred dollars but a thousand dollars so for a um, whole week, that's a food, whole week. lodging, every type of ramp, foam pits, everything. It's mm -hmm. a $1,000 a lot. $1,000 is a lot, but for summer camp, it's, it's really not too bad. 50% less than $1,500, so. so that's a lot of money. Yeah. So, um, super good deal. $1,000? $1,000 is a lot when you're a six-year-old, almost six-year-old like you. <laughs> but for a parent that wants their kid to go somewhere awesome, it's a good deal. Yeah. And they have, they, every camp literally, and something that I didn't really, really realize is that every camp has just ride nights so you can go ride for 30 or 40 bucks and go session jump in the foam whatever well, you want when we just got hours. here so when we got there they just let us in when it's not supposed to be open yet mm -hmm. because they do weekend things now you can do weekend camps there's not just the full week summer camp anymore if you're an adult you can go with mm -hmm. your friends there's like a bunch of different options mm -hmm. now so there's an event in pa this and later this year too so a bunch of stuff going on at woodward and thank you to them for so much for for sponsoring the podcast we uh we appreciate it yep i've gone there i don't I'm even so know how many times and i can't wait to go back the hotel the hotel's cool too woodward west had its own hotel woodward east does mm -hmm. tahoe and copper look amazing i want to get out there let's all go let's go next weekend and the weekend after and the weekend after and the weekend after or do you got plans Let's I don't do know if we have plans. <laughs> then we got plans now. Thank you, bud. You're actually a pretty good podcast host. You brought oh, up the hotel you. on his own. Yeah, I know. I for we forgot about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, dude. Thank you. You're Sorry. Welcome. Back to it. Thanks, Woodward. And just being like, it just was not an ideal setup. I had boards set up up there, yeah. and you're like up in the very top of the dome. That 
roof to rail and then off like probably a 12 foot roof right after yeah. flat. It's going to gonna be roof to rail and then <laughs> yeah. nollie bar off the roof to flat. And I might have like a little fucking landing for might have exploded off the well, that was the roof my, to rail my, was like not good either. It was, it a, was, gate, it was a gate. Well, start, we got to see I remember. Is it in the behind the scenes? There's, no, there's no, no footage. Of it. Yeah. Do anything of it. So the would you have been more pumped on that than the truck driver in your own head? Is that why it pissed you off so bad? It freaked you out? It was just really because that. every idea I had, I checked off the list. Okay. Yeah. Other than that. Yeah. Everything else might have killed you. Exactly. Or made it so you didn't get the truck. I, is, I, the truck's the thing that blew this video up. For sure. Realistically. Yeah. yeah. And so in hindsight. And that might have been one of those things that I, I would think is sicker, but like the 16 million other people yeah. wouldn't have even they like, roofed got, rail. I, I know, think I would have got blown apart on the nollie bar off the roof because it was not just a little. Yeah. The thing that I do the wall ride 180 on. Yeah. In the in that this, first in opening line. line off at the top. It was off that. Look, at, that's a high. The, yeah. Where's the rail? So like um, it would have been like in that back corner. Let's like, see if it. Let's see if it's actually in this area or not. No, but I think it. No, it was on top. It was basically it was a, a thing on it was top. It was a, and a, you would land a on a stair that. set on top of that same thing. Yeah, with another roof. You would have been the fine in the nollie bar. But the, probably would but just the, push that disc out of your neck a little quicker, yeah. right? <laughs> but the, but, <laughs> but the, you would have handled it. Yeah, <laughs> the drop. Well, like I mean, it's been a long time since I thought about this, but the the runway was like. Maybe a table and a half. Uh-huh. So it was like it, it I was, was trying really to gate crank, stuck. Boom. Oh, it was crank to roof to It rail. was not a good big roof. To, it was a big. It was probably like yeah. a ten. That's how you two. get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It was dark when a setup like it was you want dark to do, up but there's there, no runway like, and everything's mm-hmm. all fucked up. Yeah. And it's hard when you have you it's know. Up. I mean, there's 15 people staring at you. Yeah, and it's. It's, When's this guy gonna go? I gotta get lunch. Yeah, yeah. It's action every <laughs> and time. It was, and it was ready, set, action. And you're like, I'm like, fuck. Yeah. It's not, when, ah, it's not like, already right, it. go. It's yeah, like, like they're telling when him when to go. Uh-huh. Every time was action. <laughs> oh it's like, okay, I'm ready. And they'd be like, all right, we're going to do the countdown. And then it'd be like, action. And you're like, no, I was ready 10 seconds ago. Like, so just, it was, yeah, it was a mind talk, fuck. Fully yeah. talked myself. And there was, one. and next video part you film, I'm going to be there. Action. <laughs> Every yeah. clip, like, you're, right. we're ready, Tyler. We're the, ready down here. <laughs> the the, ready on the scene too. I remember when you do the, the pegs, the pegs hard 180. And it was like it took a while. Oh yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and oh yeah, that the, line's the, great. The, the bar, keep, bar we'll keep, we'll keep watching. And uh, yeah, that line's the, fucking sick too, actually. And it took a little while. And I, All me being sick. BMX guy, like you did the rollout, I was like, wow, like <laughs> I was like the hype dude. And, and then like, and I got I got fucking yelled at. They're like redo. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, the dude was pissed. Right. And I was like, oh yeah, I gotta shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, so this was like a whole production crew. None of you guys had ever met. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, Don't and it me. was like it was. I you mean, know, I Luke's, had like Luke Seal. Yeah, and I Paul. had you. Yeah, and that was a sick setup. Little quick feet uh-huh. over yeah. the Aaron. That Aaron was Bostrom. like from a t- up top. It like yeah, that's broke cool. and fell down. This, yeah, this was cool. This one, this sucked. Doing it like eight in the morning, flat oh, to flat to flat. And we did all this in like an hour. Like I just kept going to each. Uh, this one sucked. I it was limping for like two hours after that. Ugh, my ankles. And then this one took me a minute to get. Yeah, that rollout was. That like whole the, line is fucking. Th- that was like two separate lines. Two separate lines. Yeah, we Piece filmed it like piece them together. That was awesome. To the three it, between the rails is actually like. Kind of scary. Fuck yeah. It's like bike length with. So in between two, like the like uh, the main. Oh, that shit was all crazy. Those the, rails. I the main about that. photo like right here where it's like the bar on top. They didn't oh. even film that. That was they, like they us fucking. It. Do they? It's in this. Is it in right, this? It's right. It's this right here. Oh, okay. But they oh, didn't. They, did, they yeah. used like this crazy like that, that angle. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. It is cool. Oh Fis- my god. Yeah. Visually, it was big. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, you could tell. I just dropped. I <laughs> yeah. It was dropped. already there like was a decent. Bank. And then you keep going because your are the photo. The fisheye photo is just off yeah. flat bar on top. Mm-hmm. And so I just remember you and I just like going around and like fucking around and yeah. destroying shit. Yeah. And we throwing were, shit oh, off yeah, of the thing. We were, we were and fucking breaking stuff. We were just breaking hours. stuff. And it was like, look at the place. Like mm-hmm. you could do whatever you wanted, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. still, at some point, we were like breaking. Throwing shit through. You know what's giant funny pe- though? Glass pane windows. It's Remember we like were filming or? these big windows, breaking them, yeah. and they made us stop. Yeah, they made us stop. Like, they told us like, like not allowed or something. Yeah, we we're like, why? Because we what's were trying to get a difference? super sick slow mo. Yeah. Of me throwing like a toilet through the window or something. <laughs> we were just we were going a little hard yeah, though. Like, sure. but that whole thing, like, um, you know, the iPhone like tracks your steps, and it was like new at that time, mm-hmm. like that it would track your steps, mm-hmm. and I was like, I walked like 18 miles today 
through that stadium. <laughs> you know, crazy, like yeah. the amount of steps that I was yeah. doing every day because there was so much to look at and you'd go through the bottom and it would be like the fucking Detroit Lions locker room, yeah. team locker room covered with fucking mold. Yeah. And it was just, it was an insane. Well, I went there like, I don't, you weren't there when I scoped no, it, right? No, I went like one, yeah. three months prior and everything was covered in snow. So that's how I had all the ideas. We oh. Spent like four hours there just walking Running the whole down. place and then just notebook writing ideas maybe this will work maybe not and then and then the, yeah. the one other thing was when we were on the roof and you hung off the side of the stadium oh yeah i did that yeah. there too <laughs> he was yeah. hanging onto a bolt on the side of the stadium yeah it's a big one. it's yeah. high too yeah it's <laughs> high yeah stadium. yeah you know gonna... like right, what happened died. with that did you have pictures i sh- so i remember you were i, sh- I shot were I, sh- out. I was stressed out and i shot one photo and it wasn't very good and you're like i'm gonna do it again i'm like no i'm walking away <laughs> like i'm like i'm leaving um but very sad thing for me is that uh that beautiful golden retriever out there uh knocked over my drive and so I, anything that was like oh. not published i don't have anymore Bummer. yeah so when it was a puppy and that was my lesson learned yeah. about double backing everything that yeah. i found out it's funny you use particle ago. board osb for your big drop like it's not even I didn't, it wasn't yeah. my yeah. like this big production thing <laughs> and you have particle board yeah well, because that those were like a, it was like a stage. They were like blocks, and we lined them all up like for huh. a little runway. Yeah, right. Could have made that look a little nicer. I've never not nicer. I just would think like you'd use good plywood since they're putting a shitload of money into this. Neck blown out. Out. Oh, Neck you barely hung on. To ah. that. And then my bars moved super far forward right there. Yeah, because weren't you gonna do a three? I wanted to there? do like flip whip, and I was like, nope. I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, you fuck something though. Dude, there's no way. I Because I landed it barely somehow. I'm like, I'm. they wanted me to flip it even after they were like talking about it. But I'm like, that was sweet. Yeah. I didn't yeah. do anything else. Oh, if you would have fucked the flip. Dude, up. exactly. But they didn't, even like, use, they didn't even use the whole thing anyway. So what's the difference? Yeah, they could have just like, pieced it, was it no together. That is funny. Flip. Yeah, they yeah. could have faked no, it. They, they wanted it. really to flip up it. Yeah, I could have just done a different one. Dude, that ramp. This video does not give that. Yeah, it does. Justice. That thing's beast. Like that, that would have been the biggest a, flip up of your life. The sure. landing, <laughs> dude. The landing is like ninety degrees. There's no case pad. That's like an eight, nine foot tall landing. I love how they threw trash all around it too. That was so, yeah, like, like yeah. to make it look. Yeah. It does look like everything else with the trash. Yeah. Oh man, that pretty was badass, Tyler. You've had a the, you've had a hell of a career already. It's pretty thanks. amazing when you go back and look at all this stuff. Yeah, so, when you when you put it all together, I'm like, damn, actually, I have done a lot of stuff. You have done a lot of stuff already, like, and like you're a kid career, like yeah. you did everything. Yeah. When was the neck injury? Around 20? 20, 21. <laughs> That's three two hours to get, to get my acai bowl out of your. Face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm the, set another alarm for when we're leaving. I wonder if there's. I'll remind you. You will. Yeah. I'm you think? It's on it. I think. So. I would have forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yeah. Now I will remember. But yeah, and that was a. We were talking on the phone yesterday or whenever it was, just talking about kind of now you're revamping everything and you're just you're not starting from ground zero because you have this huge yeah, following I've and you've also been very vulnerable to your phone and your followers throughout the the chaos in yeah. between young Tyler and this Tyler. So yeah. that's something you want to speak of and you're very open to connecting <clears throat> with people and you're almost like a like you yeah. help a lot of people out. Yeah, right I was now. telling you, I feel like I'm kind of like a therapist at this point which is it's awesome and i'm happy that people feel comfortable what you're saying it's kind of ironic yeah because i'm still dealing with a lot of my stuff and i'm mm-hmm. like giving people advice but i think it's just because i'm like have this platform and people you know you're open through social media people just think oh professional bike rider had a great life you know mm-hmm. everything's chill but like yeah at first i think when i was opening up about all the mental health issues of drinking it's like oh i don't know if you should be talking about this but the fact that it's like I fell in that hole, but I've dug myself out. Comeback story is great, mm-hmm. but now I've been through it and I've been open about it, and I can help people. Yeah, and then yeah. and when I help people, it helps me too. And I think the biggest thing for me, I've said this before, was like I for a short period of time I had I was kind of salty and like felt like oh like BMX owes me type of thing. Mm-hmm. That's, that, complete opposite i had i looked in the mirror and had to realize you're the problem like you know there's certain things that were unpreventable injuries of course they suck but what i could have done was in the healing process been productive and done other things and you know Mm -hmm. there's 
pictures of me with a neck brace on and thrusters bar and PB, like yeah. drinking with a neck brace on. Like, yeah, it was fun and blah, 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 you know, like, fuck it. That's how I was acting. But like, yeah, I could have. So my point was that, you know, I looked in the mirror and realized that I'm the problem and I can't point the finger at anybody. And like, once you realize that and I'm not blaming anybody but myself, it's like kind of freedom, like a weight off my shoulders. Like, I know that it's all, most of my issues have been self-inflicted and there's nobody to blame but me. So I'm just happy to. And that that takes a long road and a lot of wisdom yeah. and a lot of falling down, you know, sure. mentally and all that stuff to I had come to, to be that broken. conclusion to, to, to see that yeah. in yourself. I yeah. was really broken. There was a point where I was like, fuck BMX. Yeah. Like, excuse my language. But yeah, I was like, I was taking that typical route of like salty with the industry, feeling like I did this and I, you know. I deserved it. I yeah. didn't really no, get like I mean, that. Get I've it, never though. been like that, yeah. but it was just like, I was like, I'm done. Yeah. I did yeah. it. I'm not, I'm not riding right now. I'm like drinking all the time. I was up in Oregon, like miserable as hell. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, makes I just, sense. I just makes realized sense, like, yeah. this is, yeah, I just feel like I let the ego go for once and just, Look, literally looked in the mirror like i'm not kidding like look and talk to myself like you are the problem mm -hmm. the drinking your decision the not you know not handling certain situations properly that's all you so like yeah just had to calm down take a step back all right why do i do this yeah i ride because i love it yeah. i ride because it makes me a better version of me for everyone for everyone around me as well so like think that was just the most important thing just yeah. chill out start riding don't i don't care about sponsors i don't care about making money i'm gonna figure it out like i always do but just most importantly ride ride every day i ride i ride like it's my last day on earth every day now mm -hmm. and it's fucking awesome like it's i'm it's all i think about i'm yeah. like at the skate park like we got plans to go ride in the afternoon to film and i gotta ride before i ride type of thing <laughs> yeah. i go get a session by myself at yeah. eight yeah like and it just that's what it takes and uh for me to be happy that's fine and, and that's I okay love it. that's and you great, gotta you gotta love yourself and love love yeah. the the fact that you you know um, that you did make those mistakes yeah. and that you have grown to be who you are For and sure. you are a fallible normal human being yeah and without you know. all of that i wouldn't be able to be here and yeah. have this growth in and the mentality of like like you know i'm still dealing with a lot of stuff every day and i'm super open about that and you're never not going to exactly that's you're a part never, of life yeah but i really needed to be like i had absolute rock bottom yeah. i was i was really suicidal and just like i mean i did called you yeah. all drunk sometimes like i don't want to live anymore and just like and it was real those are real feelings and i was scared to like be alone with myself but like step one obviously but get, you wanted help so i wanted bad. help and yeah. i was like dude i remember sending you like hotlines in your area code yeah because i was like i've given you all my advice i can yeah you need to call these people now yeah because you were just looking like help me help me help me but i was like it was like mirror and did that shit. exactly so like, he yeah. needs to fucking it's realize what's happening that's exactly it it's helped so me i want help me you did that and i'm reaching out but like you can't no a point where you cannot help you. no one's gonna help me nobody can help me until i do when it's so that bad I'm yes so so grateful for all of it i'm so glad i got so drunk and wanted to take my own life and mess things up with riding and it's like because i was like in this limbo of kind of like messing things up like ah, i'm fine and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. no it had because to, it was sustainable it had to because be that like, was sustainable yeah it had you could have kept like, going the with absolute, that shitty phase yeah yeah i had to hit the absolute bottom yeah. and then where you absolutely can't go anymore I, and it was like it was yeah. like okay i need to either go home to michigan and like be with my mom and like i don't know or like I just did it myself. I just fucking buckled down. I'm like, I'm going to be miserable for a month, a couple of weeks. That's what it was. This last time I was drinking, it was like the same thing. I'd like been sober for, cause I filmed the video with you and Chad. Tyler's like, back to, yeah. Tyler's, Tyler's back at a bar. Then, I was like, Tyler, Tyler was gone. <laughs> yeah. So but it was like, like, everyone was like, he's fucking back. He's going to move back to San Diego. And then no one could get a hold of him. We're like, no, yeah, he's yeah. off the rocker. I, I 
there's no like really we no had some excuse. friends you I had some friends pass away had a couple of friends yeah. Yeah, and I think it's important, you know, I mean, you're you went back to OB, which is Ocean mm-hmm. Beach. And I feel it's, like there's a lot of people you, you got to be with pretty there. strong minded yeah. to like not get into that. But yeah. yeah, I was and I was fine for a while there. I was just riding a bunch and then some. Yeah, a couple of friends, a couple of close friends. Yeah. Uh, ended up passing, taking their lives. And and then it was like, it's such a terrible way to handle that by going and drinking but it is what it is and that's what i did yeah and then it, it, i did it yeah it was like a month six weeks maybe even more i pretty much drank every day blew through all my money at the bar and just like but then it got to a point it was like this is it like i had i finally so i finally got on the phone again with malcolm mm-hmm. and just laid it all on the table i was like yeah. i fucked up because he, he what i do you won't hear from me yeah I will only surround myself with people who don't know what's going on with my life. People who will like influence your do bullshit. it with me yeah. Yeah. and not Enable make me it. feel bad for mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So I would just hang because I I do know people like that, and I would just be hanging out with them. But yeah, I told Malcolm like exactly what happened, and it's like I fucked up, and I'm sorry because I know you you had a lot of. I think that's the other thing too is I'm scared to for like people to find out and then it just makes you want to do it even more. Just keep running away. Yeah. Keep running away. Keep going back to the bar. And uh um yeah. And he was just like he helped me a lot. He's like, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay to fuck up. Yeah. And I'm like, I know, I'm just like really sad. Like I, I feel like I let everyone down. And he's and it's he's like, it's fine. You just and you said this the other day too, it's okay to mess up, just Cause most people mess up and then they never come back. Yeah. Like, you know, I was able to pick myself up. A month is so much better than two years. Exactly. It was, yeah. So I much better. Up, but nothing. it was a That's month. nothing. The last time was, was like years. Yeah. I was gone. So a month is like, you're fucking dialed. If yeah. you can, if you can have however long that last spurt was compared to this a month, that's a, then, then the, the next time you and, fuck up, hopefully it's never, yeah. it might be two weeks Yeah, and then a week. And then all of a sudden you yeah. can have a drink and you're fine. Yeah. Cause you wake up the next morning and stop. For sure. And, May, um, or never again whatever yeah whatever yeah, whatever it is it's just cool i, I, I just feel it's, that if the slip-ups get shorter and shorter that's progress it doesn't have to sure. be i never drank again that's yeah. a lot of people they're like i fucked up i was sober for three and years then and then it now causes I drank. like more like, internal well, issues when you're like so strict with that too or she like when you try and when you got the apps and you're like oh, i'm a hundred and something days sober and it's like this whole like I don't know. I feel like I don't need that. I well, stopped also doing communicating with thing. people. You have like hundreds of thousands of followers too. So yeah. that might be like, fuck, I'm like trying to be an influence on this. And all of a sudden you're like, I'm at the bar. Yeah. You know, but no, fuck and it, it's all obvious. those people need to see that too. Because sure. they're probably going through the same That's thing. That's the thing. Like, dude, my, I get the people that are looking up to you on that Hundreds of DMs yeah. like in every, like sometimes every day, like yeah. one day. And it's mostly about like people have been down a similar road mental health issues it, you know? and like, they want they're asking questions and i'm super open i i give my number out to like a lot of people that i've never met and end up spending so much time but it makes me feel good and like i i i like show it's cool that i'm not that you know i'm not sponsored and i'm not of this professional bike rider living the dream right now but like i mean i am i feel like i'm living the dream way more than i have in the last five years that's for sure so i'm fucking very grateful for this but it's cool that I'm able to be in this position. I'm I'm showing people that you can fuck up bad. Like I was down really bad as low as you can get, and I and I'm changing that. Yeah. I have no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna be. I don't know where it is or what it is. Might not even have anything to do with BMX completely. Like of course it's gonna be a huge part, but like I have a I have goals and I have a vision and I know where I'm going. And you, once. dude, you have such a big heart and you're, <clears throat> and you're such a, like a, a kind dude in your, you know, in your core, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's people want to help you and people want to see you win. And, and yeah, if I, you do, I, if you do make those mistakes, like those people that care about you still care about you, Yeah, you know, I and can thank a lot of people. I think that's the one yeah. good thing that is that I never, I don't think I burned any bridges. Yeah. Oh. All the harm I did was self-inflicted. Yeah. I was just harming myself and like. I mean, maybe probably piss some people off, but like I never bad, okay. bad mouthed yeah. anybody yeah. and blamed anybody for my problems. It's just me. Well, I want to see you win, dude. I want to see. Too. I want to see that. So, yeah, hell yeah, dude. No, I'm yeah, I'm ready. It's all. It's super fun because, like I said, I've already done this once, and now I'm getting to do it again. Yeah, it's fun. Like I'm just 
riding and see what happens with it i have so many like cool projects already in the works like we got some things coming up oh yeah and um yeah cool well i want to see you come back we talked about before the podcast we yeah. talked about doing the similar thing with the chad one you know talking yeah. about bangers, no, i was saying about all this uh, stuff like i was like oh let's just do a short one because i hate doing podcasts but i mean we're, been having, we're two hours I having like yeah okay. it's like it, it just takes me like 10 minutes to get in the flow and then like it's about a podcast i just and thinking about it the night before the week before the yeah, whole right, the 40 yeah. minute drive here yeah. i'm like okay well, if he asked me this what yeah. am i gonna say about this yeah. Like, yeah well i mean like the we don't need to harp on on the, you got the story out we don't no, have sure. single moments and all no, stuff and i was trying like, to think of like more things that i wanted to talk about yeah. but no really but you can come like, back and that's the whole yeah. thing is like we want you to come back we want you to be a part of it yeah i'd like to sit in on some like little, yeah. little weekly things maybe uh what yeah. happened in bmx type yeah. of thing definitely right. but you're, yeah you're the co-host in the next uh i'm news down for that yeah i just uh I would just like to say thank you to everybody, you guys, like everybody in BMX, the whole BMX community. Like mm -hmm. I might not be here still, like, you know, on this planet be without bikes. It brought me back to yeah. life again. Yeah. Like I f convinced myself I didn't like riding bikes, but that was me being in a alternative state of mind because of alcohol and depression and anxiety and then i was able to use that to get me out of it and i'm just like forever grateful that's why i was saying like bmx doesn't owe me sh shit yeah i owe it all to bmx and like and that's just the bottom line so i'm just super hyped um and yeah thank you to malcolm and thank you to microdosify because those are my my boys support me right now. Oh yeah, and Dennis, you know King so. Flow, King Flow. Yes, yeah, yeah. Flo. seriously, shout out to King. Yeah. It's cool. No. I You're gotta, starting on Flow again. It's it really it's fun, like and it's I'm so cool, happy man. for it. It's awesome. Like I'm having so much fun. Hell yeah, Tyler. Well, More you being a part of BMX makes BMX a cooler thing. I can speak yeah. for a lot of people saying that. Yeah. So thank you for riding. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. It's been nice. I've had a lot of really good messages. Like consistently for the last few months from like people that i respect a lot you know a lot of older guys and just people are it feels good and it feels like i am as much as it is fun and i'm having fun i'm work i'm working i'm yeah, putting in it work. shows it shows like i'm man. going out and i'm really doing it like you're well that's like how almost every kid becomes a pro and becomes yeah, I'm huge doing it again riding a session chilling i'm gonna go ride another session chilling and i'm gonna go ride another session you're yeah. just so hooked on it all day I'm hooked. it's and all i do there's not many people who get to do that like you right now yeah. like as a man and like yeah. redoing it so it's it's gonna be you're gonna keep yeah. just keep going like, yeah it's i'm show. able to uh feed myself right now and pay my phone bill and focus the goal is riding. to be able to folk to be able to just focus on riding like and that's all i want to do and that's what i'm doing i that's what i'm going to try and go do right now if my leg my neck allows me to right now but neck. cool okay. yeah thank you guys thank so you, Tyler. much thank you for doing the podcast too. yeah congrats course. on life yeah thank you. hell yeah tyler love you love you guys the best thank you guys the alan cook chad tyler news boom 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 yeah maybe yep. a kink premiere too